Hello, fellow comic book worms. This is Naman. Welcome to my channel. I have a oh, Ryan Odegawa back. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> uh, back from Italy, too. <laughs> back from Italy, too, by the way. Uh, the Lake Comocon. Lake Comocon. Yeah. Yeah. Since, I mean, since the first time I was on at the beginning of the month, I left on the third. Uh -huh. I was on with like the first, right? And then we left on the third until the 19th right so we just got back otaku he's gonna be late he said he'd be here in about 45 minutes 43 minutes so hello k-pop sorry for being oh. late <laughs> hello wildstorm ww wow so we're gonna discuss uh uh ryan's Kumo Khan, Lake Como Khan, right? Lake Como. Yeah, Lake Como Khan. But uh, we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait much as possible for Otaku because we don't we don't want him to miss it. Uh, hey Joe, what's up? So, Ryan, you're gonna show comic books of all things. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. So today there was like a smaller con. Uh -huh. um, Actually, found out from Joe Benitez uh, when I was in Como in Lake Como. Yeah, and he he said he was gonna do it, and it's literally like five minutes away from me mm -hmm. in Rosemead here. So I went over and I saw um, Joe Benitez, and I met uh, Sal Regla, who who worked at Wallstrom too, and he 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 inked uh, over me mm. back then. So I finally met. I never really met him while I was working down there. I think he was living somewhere somewhere else. But I finally met him and then and then I'm um so in the corner there was like uh these guys selling all these comics in these big comic boxes. So I picked up this one. I was like, oh I'll just I just want this one. It's kind of was ooh wait. I'm like, I'll buy this one. He's like, he's like, oh, I don't just take it for free. I'm like, what? <laughs> he's like, because all of it, he's just they're just trying to get rid of all these boxes and then so they're like, just take a take a box or just you know I'm like, I don't really want a box. So I just look for some other stuff and I just got whatever. <laughs> so I got like <laughs> all all five bucks. <laughs> and then even with these, he's like, How much is this? Five bucks. He's like, I'm taking another, take a whole box. I'm like, what? <laughs> like, I don't want that. So I got, got some of these. Uh -huh. And then I'm just say that Jim Lee's first. Each, first yeah, you need to buy issue number one, number 17, I believe is Jim Lee. 17, yeah, but this is like 18. <laughs> yeah. It was eight, uh, 18 and 20. Yeah, Jim Lee's uh, first uh, interior artwork was done. Prior to everybody thought everybody thought it was what was that Apple Flight Apple was Flight, yeah. number one. I mean that was his first interior artwork, but it actually is that one. Otaku is the one who taught. <laughs> let me know about that. Yeah, uh, if you're not familiar with these, if you're not familiar with these, it's just um. Yeah, it's just like, like a like, it's like a period like wiki, Marvel wiki yeah. bio. <laughs> Yeah. And you know what? What I heard why they do these is for like uh, copyright reasons, or like like if you have characters that haven't been used, they put it in here so all the characters are like used. Ah, so the, then, the keep you know people I mean? like, from so, uh, uh, stealing artwork. I mean, stealing the character. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I see. I see. Keep the copyright up to date. Okay. Yeah, keep it up to date. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Gordon, how are you? So, I mean, I guess it doubles as like you know, learning information about each character too. So yeah, I guess I it, would that be pretty useful for like a artist who's drawing? The, I mean, artists and writers who's making up story about those characters as well. Yeah, that too, probably. Yeah, yeah. you got Gambit. <laughs> There's just like a whole bunch of these. Like older ones. 
you, you sh are you showing the behind hmm. what like this okay yeah they just had like what are those books from the 80s 90s i think 90s what, dollar, what's the price on the stick i mean what are the price dollar 99 $2.99? dollar 99 okay yeah when, when was this late 90s Let's see here. Yeah. yeah, remember when oh yes, Steve Scross was on it. A ninety-nine. Five. This one's a classic cover. Oh cool. Arcade. Classic X-Men. On this one, there's like two on one. Cool. 29. Oh, here's a new means. Barry Windsor Smith cover. It's nice. Mm. I've never seen this one. Dan Jurgens, Kevin Nolan, Superman. Oh, John Byrne did the inside too. John Byrne. Cool. Action comic. Hey, K5, you want to come up and uh, substitute for Otaku until he gets here? <laughs> <laughs> so, Joyce Chin and Arthur Adams. I actually um, met. I always knew about Joyce Chin, but I don't think we ever like met. And I finally met her at the at Lake Como. Yeah, there we, um, we, we met some amazing people at the Como. Yeah, yeah. I think I think they're married, but they have yeah they have a uh, daughter, Art oh. Adams, Joyce Chin. So Joyce Chin penciled this, and then Art Adams inked it. Pretty cool. So you were able to pick through the boxes, then. <laughs> Looks like you were able to pick through the boxes. Oh yeah, I yeah. just kind of. Yeah. I mean, I could have took the whole box, but just take up so much space. <laughs> you have a huge collection yourself. Yeah, I have a IKEA like shelf, like a whole like big shelf full. <laughs> yeah, Alan Davis. Oh, Kate won't come up. She's just woke up. <laughs> <laughs> This one's a pretty classic cover. What does it say? Batman. Holy Terror. Holy Terror? Holy Terror? Yeah. Oh. Norm Breakwell. I never I never really read it. I always I always saw the picture back in the day, but oh here's another one. Oh the oh. other one was um Book of the Dead, but this, these are just the regular ones. Yeah. Oh, Book of the Dead is a full. Okay, it's because they're dead. They're not. Oh, I see. Because yeah. they won't have it. They will not appear in any comic books until. Yeah, but they want to keep the uh, type of rights and stuff. Oh, another gam. Oh, more Gambit. Am I freezing or is it I am freezing? Who's freezing? Are we, are we both freezing, guys? Are we? I'm asking the chat room. I don't think so. I don't know. And the rest, you're freezing a little bit on my side. Gambit 2. Yeah, so these, these are some uh, business cards that I got. I guess this is a preview too. <laughs> Can you guess who that is? Peach. Yeah. Peach Momoko. Peach Momoko. So I met I met her at Lake Como. Oh, cool. Italy. Italy. And then. 
I don't see any freezing. Okay, good. Both are streaming. Okay, good. This artist is really good. Who is he? She or he? She. She. Mirka. Her name is Mirka. Mirka. Endorfo. On Instagram, it's a pretty cool card. It's like. Yeah. Tough. She's. She has that '90s flair. <laughs> yeah, she has a cool like. Mirka. Yeah, Mirka. K-pop looks like she knows her. Yeah. Her stuff's cool. It has like a funky style. But I met her at. Um, hey, chop and drop. She does a sweet paprika and you. Okay. I'm yeah. Her. Okay. Yeah. See, K-pop knows and she would have loved to have you up here as K-pop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's go. Let's talk about it. Uh, let's talk about your Como experience, bud. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna add this to the stream. Okay, sure. Okay, good. K-pop will come up. Gotta at least yeah. brush my hair. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Okay. So K-pop is gonna come up, and then we could talk about the uh, Como experience. Hold on, I'm gonna get me my beard. I didn't get my beer. You know what? That's what that's what it is. If I don't have my beer in, on my hand, I just don't have that instinct to interview people. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I talk like an alcoholic. I should. I preview something here. Psylocke. Commission. I'm gonna turn into a uh, print. I'm gonna color it up and turn into a print. <laughs> you gotta show that again. Hmm? Well, no, tap up because yeah, uh, no. because uh, he's gonna cream in his pants. I swear. That's <laughs> favorite. <laughs> You drinking anything, Ryan? Hmm? Drinking, drinking anything? anything? I have my water here. It's empty. <laughs> oh, I, I have this, but it's not open. I was going to show you these. Oh. Lemoncello. Lemoncino. You got it from Italy? Yeah. Oh, they have these chocolates. Italy chocolate? <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Let me uh, yeah, we were gonna go to this this one chocolate place, but it was closed. So we got there like too late, mm. and it was closed. But we went to this uh, market or this store that's like next to it, and it had the same chocolate that we were looking for. Uh, it's called Gian Duiato, I guess, and uh, I think it's made of like hazelnut. Oh, Although, that sounds so good. Hazelnut. I love hazelnut. Yeah, but these are yeah, these are really good. It's real smooth. There's no nuts per se in this. Mm -hmm. I mean, it might be mixed, but mm -hmm. there's. We also got ones that are like balls, and they have the hazelnuts in it. Very good. Uh, we got it in Milan, I think. I think, I think, uh, we went to Turin, which was like the home of the Olympics. Chop knows what he's talking about. Chop knows what he's talking about. Hit the like, get more people up here, share the video, get more people up here. <laughs> yeah, so these are, these are really good. Oh. What else? Oh, okay. We just stalling. Let me, let me go ahead and show the your pictures. Let's see. First of all, we gotta talk about our dude, Mike Grail. Yeah. That's Mike Grail. Yeah, I finally met him. Uh, where's my book? You work with him. Yeah. This and one. you finally met him. Oh, wow. Okay, hold on. I think I have a picture. I think I have a picture. Mm -hmm. That's his wife. There you go. 
Yeah. Like my girl to right there. <laughs> this, this is a book that Ryan and work, he worked with the Mike Real on it. He never met him, but he worked with him on it. Now he finally met him in Como, Italy, Lake Como, Italy. You see the other picture where I'm wearing his hat? He, he put his hat on my head. <laughs> he did? Is it there? Uh, I think it's in your Instagram, isn't it? Oh, it's not on there. Yeah. Yeah, it's on the Instagram. <laughs> That's when we had uh, sushi. <laughs> I was telling him, my kids make fun of me when I went to Italy. We, we all went to Italy and they had a, we looked for Korean restaurant and Korean food. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, you're in Italy. When in Rome, you do what Rome, I mean, when in Rome, you do what Rome does or something like that. Yeah. I mean, we were honestly kind of, I mean, we had Florentine steak and that stuff like that. We're getting a little tired of like pasta all the time, but <laughs> it was good. But <laughs> we had that and we had a hot pot one night too. Okay. Well, that's not in there. Hold on. What, what is it? Where is it? Is it there? I think it might be on the my message because you sent it on my message. But uh, message. yeah, because it was on my phone, but then I think, I think it, it backed up. Hold on. Oh yeah, that one. And then... There you go. There. <laughs> <laughs> we took the picture, and he's like, "Hold on," and he takes okay, up. Okay, I want to drop the link. Let me see. I'm gonna <laughs> copy. <laughs> yeah, he's a really nice guy. He's really cool. I I I met him too, and uh, he yeah he was. He was I feel like I could talk to him all day long. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. That was that was a um, commission I did over there. The top one. Oh, really? Hold on. You did this? Yeah, that one. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I did it for this this guy. Um, this kid. He was from. What, uh, what is this Scotland. character? Um. You go girl from Ecstatics. Okay. This guy was from uh, Scotland. So he had this like nice hat. <laughs> younger kid, but maybe like in his twenties or so, but you know, he has a real thick Scottish accent and he's a cool cool guy. <laughs> wow, you you actually met your fan all the way in Italy? Uh I don't know if he necessarily knew about me, but we were we were talking there and stuff. He bought um I did a drawing of uh, Wolf's Bane from New Mutants, who is actually Scottish too. And so he bought that and then he, he wanted a commission. So, And these are like uh, pre-book pre commissions. Cool. I did. K-pop thinks it was a very nice lighting. <laughs> <laughs> I actually redid it because like the first one was like, he looked kind of weird. So is this the first one or is this the uh, second one? Second one. Okay. Like la very last minute, I'm like, I'm like busy trying to pack. I'm like, uh, I gotta redo this. I, it was it was like looking kind of weird. So did you? Uh, how long it took you to do one, and then how long it took you to do the second one? This one was about like a like a day. Well, less than a day, but it's K-pop. Ah, my rescue. K pop's here. <laughs> my rescue. K pop. <laughs> All right, K pop. Take over. <laughs> Take over. <laughs> Hi, Ryan. It's nice to Hi. meet you. <laughs> nice to meet Hi. You. K pop Hi. is an artist, too, Ryan. By the way, she's an amazing artist. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> K-pop fan too. Huh? Yes, K-pop fan. Yeah. And K-pop fan. And J-pop and J-rock as well. <laughs> oh yeah, we yeah I told you about uh, D and D before, right? That, yes, that we talked too. about that before. <clears throat> and I got my uh, Black Pink tickets for August, oh, and then I just bought the nice. parking too. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Where where are you gonna go see them at? Uh, Dodger Stadium, LA. Oh, okay. That'll be fun. Yeah, I missed 
the November one when you know when they were in LA in November, and I was like, ah, I guess I'll go. I'm like, should I go to Coachella? I'm like, uh, that's kind of expensive, but <laughs> I just watch them on TV. And then I'm like, oh, I guess I'll just wait until like next year. And then they announced the encore tour. I'm like, yeah, oh, nice. It. Yeah, that's good. Uh, they don't. A lot of people. A lot of them don't usually come to <laughs> Detroit, but uh, every now and then they do. I was just at Epic High, and um, Monster X came by not too long ago. I think back in February. That was fun. So, Joe asks, oh, "Who's your favorite colorist to work with?" Ooh. Oh, for me? Yeah. Colorist. Um. Mm -mm. My favorite was uh, this guy named Danimation. It's like a, animation. Yeah, Dan Danimation. Um, what do you color? Don't have any of stuff, but he he was really really cool because like he, he you, colored uh, Mark Brooks on um, Spider Man. It was a, it was like Marvel Age Spider Man, but he 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 put like like his all into it back then. It was like so like detailed and like nicely painted and stuff. By the way, is this um uh, I guess this is a physical inking because you, you it was a commission work. Yeah, uh, that's you didn't okay. mention uh you didn't mention uh your favorite inker today offline. Who was that again? Oh yeah, Sal. Sal, Sal. Regla. Do I have it right here? Nice. So I went to oh, right, hold on a second. It's right here. Do you know him uh K pop? I don't know these No, people. I've never heard of them. Oh. So, so he, he used to work at Wildstorm. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, my second favorite inking team of all time. The first one is uh Jim Lee and yeah. scott williams and the second one is travis Charre and richard friend and i fell in love yeah. with their work through wildcats and uh wild knows this because <laughs> we're we, we've been friends for years <laughs> wildstorm is wildstorm yeah i've, I've known him for yeah, years so. from twitch yeah <laughs> yeah rich rich um he came in right before i did and he was the first guy to ink uh, ink me for like ever <laughs> oh so, nice yeah. Nice. Uh, yeah, I, I like hanging in his. Um, he does lunch streams and Sunday streams with Kelsey, and they're very fascinating. I I, I spend a lot of time in his streams. Oh, yeah. On YouTube or on? A... On YouTube, yes. Oh, yeah. YouTube. Okay. Cool. So this is so. What? What? Do you know their channel name? I mean. Uh, yes, it's Richard Friend. Violet, Violet, can you type the Richard Friend in the chat? I don't know if you can drop links, but it's Richard Friend. Yeah, Richard Friend. Okay, hold on. Let me see. Yeah, he has a show with all my Tom personal information is showing up here. <laughs> you guys forget my personal information. <laughs> you forget it. You forget it. Credit card information. Yeah, don't look at that. Don't look at that. <laughs> don't look at that. Or we're all gonna be booking trips to Lake Como. <laughs> yeah, like I mean, all my personal political <laughs> videos. <laughs> oh boy, I'm gonna get stoned to death. Let me see. Um. Uh, what was it again? Here, let me type in the chat. Okay. Richard. I mean, in the private Richard. chat. I can't type in the regular chat. Yeah. Yes. That's just his, his name of his channel. Very nice guy. Yeah. yeah. Hello, Jeffrey. There he is. Yes. Uh, he was. They were looking at double spread books today. So books that had double spread pages. Uh, it was very mm. informative. And then they were looking at Alex. Uh, oh no, what's his name? Alex was a French painter. It was absolutely just gorgeous art. Yeah, actually, I just saw uh, Travis um, in in Italy. Oh, okay, cool. Um, I love uh, his space girl art. It's very nice. Oh yeah. His his wife, I believe they're married, but his wife used to be the my editor on Swamp Guard. Oh, cool. So I know her too. She was there. Oh, here's... <laughs> oh wait, we can't see. Now you want to switch back to uh, Ryan for a minute so you can show yeah. that off. That way we don't see your <laughs> what you're doing. <laughs> there we go. Oh, no. Good. So we don't Where see your okay, Ryan. Yeah. Whoa. So regular. So oh, nice. 
That one's a X Men card. X Men Wildstorm card. Cool. I know. I know. Wild is probably wanting to buy all this. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the greatest Wildstorm collection I've ever seen in my entire life. And he's got <laughs> yeah, like cool. all the uncut sheets of the cards. Joe yeah. Like all like all his office. Yeah. Have that short. yeah, see, he's he's after all the OG art. Ooh, that's awesome. Wow. That's cool. <laughs> oh, he already knows what pieces you're after. <laughs> no trouble. Okay. I'm just putting that out there for you because I know you. I know you're. <laughs> just those, I think. Ryan knows the piece I'm after. Okay. <laughs> Are you gonna make him draw a death blow? Is that what you're trying to do? No. <laughs> <laughs> he is. He's pestered Bernard, and I think uh, Ryan knows the piece that, that I'm after. Uh, I do pester him, but he still doesn't listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> to do what? Huh? Do you what? know what I'm after, and you won't you won't sell it to me. Your original art, Star Wars. Oh, stuff. Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Star Wars stuff. Nice. Uh, Who's your favorite Star Wars. Star Wars character to draw then? Uh, it was a destroyer. I wanted the destroyer nice. to draw that he had. Oh, nice. That'd be look nice. I just did that Darth Vader one. Okay. You have that one. I like the villains. The villains have good aesthetics. Yeah. <laughs> it's some fun drawing about the the all the Siths. Darth Maul, Darth Maul's kind of cool to draw. Uh, <laughs> Maul is cool. I actually like Darth Talon. And funny, before I popped in here, I changed my name. It was Darth Turd. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is in the middle. Yeah, I really enjoyed the pictures that you were posting during um, Lake Como. It looks very okay. pretty. Yeah, this is, uh, this scene, is this scene where they... This is the scene where they... What's his name? Still a kiss from what? From Star Wars, yeah. Episode, yeah. episode two. I don't know if you guys remember this scene. That's when um, Padme comes in. Oh, um, yeah. Little... Wow. You still have that, that YouTube video? Yeah, let me go find it. Hold on. Oops. YouTube video. Uh, Star Wars. Where was it again? Star Wars. Make, make Como. Make Como. <laughs> this this it? And it can still a kiss? Yeah. That's there, right? Yeah. So that that building was kind of CG, I think, mostly. See the yeah, so that's like the reverse. You're gonna get copyright strike, right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe <Yeah>. mute it. <laughs> I will mute some of it, and then I will mute. You know. I don't know. <laughs> we would swim to that island every day. Maybe just skip through it real quick, and then. Just skip through it. Yeah, there you go. That scene right there. Yeah. All right, that's awesome. I don't like sand. Uh, yeah, one that's... of the, my favorite exhibits I've been to in the past like five years was mm. the art of star wars and uh, it was all the costumes the concept designs and then they, they had like all the all right. the droids and everything were taken apart so you could see all like everything that they used to create everything it was so right. fascinating wow that's cool now nah, ryan has still has a couple to seven <laughs> star number one <laughs> yeah that's maybe funny. one day i'll be ready for that day yeah I don't need to hear how much he hates uh, Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, I mean, it's uh, really cool. I mean, uh, the human. Uh, this place is pretty awesome. The place you went to, oh, yeah. Here's, uh, where he met, he met Pichi Momoko. Yeah. Oh man. Well, I didn't. I didn't meet her I here. Did. I just. I met her the previous day. So the first day was um, reception. Uh -huh. There's actually a picture of that one too. Hi, sick. The middle one where um, it's a down shot. The middle one, down shot. Hold on. Oh, that, that's oh, the nice. Oh, that's really cool. That was a commission. Yeah, K-pop should like that one, villain. I did, <laughs> and I do. Look at that one. 
Oh, yeah, that, that is some cool perspective. I like the way that you did the cool. city behind him. This is That's a nice uh, DK. DK. Show the real copy. Let me see. Oh, that's cool. Let me take it out of the... Wow. This thing is amazing because, like, I looked at his table and then I saw this there. And it was only, like, 20 euro, which is, like, around 20 bucks. I'm like, Whoa. Oh. That was only 20, like, 20 bucks? But it's, that's like... amazing. It looks yeah. almost like the original. Yeah. It's got, like, a little texture to it, too. The paper does. Yeah. That I don't is, know if you that's see, cool. Like, but it's like the blacks are like very black. Like it's very intense and very saturated. Yeah. Yeah. And I like where it's got like the white going to the bottom. It looks like uh when you look at a pen and ink sketch where they put like the white splatter. Yeah. That actually came through on the that's a print, right? Yeah. <laughs> it looks like the original. It's I crazy. know, that's insane. That looks so good. I'm like, all right, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what I mean, that's not how you need to sell your print. Yeah, I know. Right, I mean, you can tell you print that way. I would say, like, looking at it in person, like, it doesn't, I mean, looking on here, like, doesn't do it justice to, like, looking at it in person, but, but yeah, so I got that. That's so that's a uh, DK. So he's, um, I showed him before this artist right here. He does like coverage for Marvel and DC, but uh, I'm type this in the private chat. You said DK, just the like the initials, that. It's spelled like Dyke. I thought it was Dyke, but then they said his name, <laughs> or he pronounces it DK. DK. All right. I'm going to put that in the private chat so I can see it. Look him up. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Yeah. Um, he's Chinese, but he, he uh, I talked to him a little bit. He, uh, he lives in Italy. Oh, nice. That's yeah. cool. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of Italian artists that are coming out and getting more popular. Uh, I I have one coming on my show soon. Oh, no. <laughs> he has a, he had a Godzilla pizza book. <laughs> That's nice. amazing. But it's it's fun. I like when uh like you meet other artists from around the world. I think that's exciting. Yeah. Uh, Joe wants to know: Is that spelled with a Y or an I? Uh, what? The, the DK guy. A D I K E R U A N. Okay. D I K E R U A N. Okay. Yeah. I'm just going to put that in the chat so I can look it up later. Nice. Very cool. Oh, thank you, Wild. Yeah. Like that. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay. Oh, cool. Uh, okay. Yeah. I really love art books. Yeah, this one's cool. It has like. Oh, nice. Oh, he does black and. Is he does all traditional or does he do digital also? Uh, I think it's all traditional. Yeah, you can tell like his black and white, just the ink pieces are very lovely. Wow, he just won. Yeah, he's the one. So it inspired me. It inspired me to get this. Watercolor. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Watercolor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love watercolor. Watercolor is fun. Start doing more. Wait. Dang on it. Yeah. You guys are you guys are getting me into watercolors. Watercolor is <laughs> fun. Like you can do like the swirly woo type one. <laughs> I'm not into that level of watercolor yet. I just kind of do like the layered paint effect type one, but it's it's just fun. It's really you guys fun. Getting me into you you and you know the K pops, you know, she tried all these different mediums, you know. <laughs> uh, I'm just yes. stuck to one medium. I mean, I've, I've kind of messed around with like ink wash before, but I mean, looking at stuff like this, I'm like, I need to like try to up my <laughs> game a little bit. Yeah. Uh, at least I want to do, you know, I want to be able to do ink with the brush, ink with the yes. brush. <clears throat> I yeah. think there's something really satisfying when you watch somebody really ink, like, you know, dip it in the India ink and use like the utensils with the brushes. And that's just satisfying to me. Like I've, I've watched so many artists at cons just sit there and ink a sketch over and over again. It's just fascinating to me. Yeah. I mean, even looking at this, I mean, I almost consider it like, you know, like the background, it's just water, like, <laughs> and ink splatter. Yeah. Ink, I know. That's awesome. Kind of a cheap, trick but then it just looks so cool <laughs> you know yeah and what's really cool about that too is when you actually have the original piece in front of you how mm -hmm. if they use like the ink 
and then like a Sharpie or a different type of pen and then the, the white on top of it, you, if you go like that, you know, and angle it, you could see all the different reflections of the inks. It's, that's amazing. Yeah. When the, when the ink actually has. What is this? Ink yeah. or pen? What is that? Is it ink? Probably. It looks like an OG ink or India ink. Wow. See what you I, can see the cross hatching, and then you can see the solid ink on there. So probably. I have so much problem with the cross hatching. Was he, yeah, I think he's kind of scribbly. He, uh, <laughs> he just kind of just goes. Shh, and then I think he's very, you show me your face. I don't see your face yet. There you go. I think he's very influenced by um, Olivier. Hey, young guy. I think uh, young hey, guy. Uh, uh, he's an artist too. So. Yeah. He's my Ryan. young guy. Yeah. Uh, Ryan, this is young guy. Tell, tell him your name, uh, young guy. I'm Vic. Vic. Vic, dude. Vic. Vic. Yeah, Vic, dude, right? Do a. Do a. Do a. Okay. He's an aspiring artist, and uh, I think he wants to. He wants to come and join us, artists, right? Cool. Is that right, Ryan? I mean, is that right, yeah. Vic? Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, quick, show me what you're working on, Vic. Uh, I'm having to redo a page because it looks like, uh, let's be honest, it looked absolutely disgusting. <laughs> I mean, you seem to you seem to be working on a lot of stuff there, but yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, no worry. Okay, let's see. All right, let's go to your stuff. Where is that at? Yeah, so that, if you remember in uh, episode two, Star Wars. Oh, yeah, he, was, he's uh, got a store here, right? Anakin, do you have my um Instagram still? Yeah, I think I do. I have, I have Anakin in there. Uh, yeah, that one. Oh, go go back one. Wait, go back. The first one. I mean, the second one. Yeah, that one. <laughs> the next one. Next one. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, yeah, that the with the food. <laughs> oh, that was uh, this one. one. Yeah, that oh, one. Not this one. It looks Pause. delicious. Yeah, yeah, Pause. Pause. delicious. Pause. I'm getting hungry now. Pause it. Wait. Pause it. Yeah. yeah. A pause. Go back. Go back. Go back. The Can arrow, the left arrow. So the, on top, uh, that's horse meat. Huh? <laughs> In a salad. You eat horse, horse meat? meat? Wow. Yeah. Corner <laughs> product's gonna get you, bud. <laughs> you know what? Uh, yeah. Is? I hear that's pretty popular in like Europe, and if you see like a horse sign, like a metallic, like a old iron cast horse head, I mean mm. they serve horse meat there. My friend said it's high in iron, I think. And then to the to the left of that, that drink is a, it was one of my favorite drinks there. It's called um, a Hugo Spritz. Okay. I guess they, they have what they call like a spritz, which is like. Um, I think Prosecco wine and uh, right, club right, soda. Right. This one had Delicious. Uh, like a sprig of mint and I think elderflower. Ooh, or fancy. It's a real, real simple, but it was like refreshing and good. So did you, did you, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wild says yay or nay <laughs> yay. on the horse meat. <laughs> nay. <laughs> yeah, nay. Nay. <laughs> <laughs> Weird, it didn't have like particularly strong taste or anything. It was just kind of like beef jerky or something. Yeah, because it's probably really muscly, but they probably also have to like I know like certain gamey stuff they have to like soak in milk for a while to get that gamey kind of taste uh, away. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't, have not ventured into <laughs> <laughs> that territory yet. So what, bottom, was, like, what was I looking for, Brian? Oh, um, uh, Anakin. The Anakin mm -hmm. one, yeah, in the between the two columns, that's Juliet, Romeo and Juliet. Oh, you, you, oh, Juliet's nice. house. 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, three sum over there. That Juvia's three, house. Yeah. Okay. Now that. Oh, that was in Venice. Oh, yeah, it's nice. Ah, right. <laughs> Look at that, man. That was heavy. Yeah, it looks heavy. It looks like you're struggling to keep that up there. It's crazy, like, that force perspective. You didn't tense up your muscle on your arms. Uh, <laughs> like, it looks, I mean, it looks small there, you know, just that perspective. But when you look at it, like, in person, we didn't even get, like, that close to it. Yeah. We were, like, always, like, this far. Yeah, like, I, I've been there before, so I know it was. You like when you see the person, it's just like really tall. <laughs> it's like really That's impressive. Cool. Yeah, I gave uh, Ryan a uh, hard time for eating sushi in Italy. Yeah. <laughs> well, they do have a lot of fish. Well, the next one. <laughs> They're allowed to run of water. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm Japanese and then my wife's Chinese. So. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Well, my, my kids gave me a hard time for finding a Korean restaurant in, in <laughs> Italy. Oh, yeah, we soaked our feet Ooh, in the water. That looked delicious. I don't know what that was, but that looked delicious. Oh, yeah, it was a fried... Uh, fish and chips. Ooh. We had a couple of them. There was a fish and Ooh. chips, and then there was, like, fried seafood. Or, you know, different, different like... Oh, that looks delicious right there. I love that. Oh, is it calamari? Calamari, shrimp. Mussels. Oh, the gelato. Oh, come on. Gelato. That's going to be absolutely fantastic. That yeah, Italy, good. you got to go have gelato in Italy. I mean, that's coffee, good. gelato. Yeah, that's like yeah. a thing. That's like a must. Yeah. On the Florent Florentine steak. Ooh, now that's a steak. Come on. That looks oh, delicious. Good. You got to have, that, little, Ooh, you gotta have that, that pink right there. You got to have that pink. Yeah. 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 Imagine a cow dying for you to just burn that. <laughs> like, that's that's horrible. Yes, Vic. There you go. Look. There it is. There's There's that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you use the animation? Uh, is this uh, Instagram allow you to do animation like that, or is that this is yeah, the way have you uh, Lake Como Comic Art Festival? <laughs> Yeah, you know what's funny is I never even heard of Lake Como until actual Dracula brought that up a couple of months ago, and then everyone was like, "Oh, we're going to Lake Como now." <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I barely knew about it until. I mean, the, the I mean, compared to the <clears throat> compared to the uh, what do you call it, our, our Comic Cons, mm -hmm. their their setup is so what do you call it, respectable. They really yes. respect their artists. Mm -hmm. I'd it, say that it, it it seems like it's really really good uh like the atmosphere for meeting everybody it seems like that's what they go there for you know you get, you get to spend a lot of time like meeting the artists you know that's what it's there for like i don't really see like vendors or anything it yeah. looks like it's just strictly for like the artists so and all these cool. artists are like I, I would love to get that cloth <laughs> yeah that was but i would say like actually like being there some people were saying that there's too many artists and like the way it's set up, it's kind of like it's kind of a main central hallway, and then there's like rooms to you know to the side. No, oh, you got another one of those. That's the, yeah. So this was the reception on Friday. I think is that you say that was a Peach Momoko right there. Uh, Peach Momoko next to is uh, Umberto Ramos. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a Damn. that's a you know talented room right there. Yeah, I know. And that's what I'm saying. Like, there's a lot of artists that that I was telling my wife. Like, um, there's a lot of artists that are here that are, you know I don't know who some of them are, but you, know, like, you just see people and then it's like he's probably famous. He's probably famous. You know? <laughs> Were you starstruck? Yeah, for some of them that I knew of. I think that's DK up there in the. Uh, Go up. Looks like he's picking his nose. <laughs> to the left a little bit. This guy right here? This guy right here? I think that might be... <laughs> I think that might like be he's either eating a giant baguette or he's picking a <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm not picking my nose. I'm picking my glass, okay? <laughs> you could do both at the same time. You know, I, you know, no, I'm picking mine. That many times. <laughs> yeah, I think that's him because I think that's his either girlfriend or wife. <laughs> 
to the okay the, they can never be too many at see, one time i agree yeah. i i thrive off of going to cons and meeting artists and spending that time with them and getting to know them that's that's my favorite part of cons yeah last con i went to i had an hour conversation with a uh, gerhard he did it the backgrounds for service because Dave Sims a I'm gonna cut myself off. Don't, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. You don't have to uh, do we're that. But we are ignoring you. you yeah. Make, you make, I feel like you saw my ignore you I mean uh, was I ignoring you? Oh uh, no I I just saw the link and popped in. <laughs> oh yeah so so that wasn't that wasn't even all the artists. That was like some of them. Like there was more like under and over there. It's just, just it's just the, so beautiful. It's like, really nice. Yeah, you got there. That was a different room. So this is like a whole different building. That was it's in the same like area, but it's like a it's kind of a glass. It looks totally different. Look at that. Look at that. Each, each one of them have names like this. You know. That is fancy. I mean, it looks more respectful. You're giving a lot of respect to the artist. It looks, That's it looks nicer than where I was. Pretty much. Huh? Like, what did you say, Vic? I said that's nicer than where I live. Uh, it's nicer than I think all of us live. <laughs> the best thing is we got free gorgeous. snaps. We're, we're all in caves, <laughs> man. We're all in caves. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what kind of snacks do they give you? That's the important question. Well, had, they had a lot of these waters right here, and then they had like juices and coffee. No, and was it purified or spring water? <laughs> it's it's like purified. Well, they have like oh carbonated, and they have um, oh okay regular. Wow, they, they really went all out. That's cool. Purified. I, I don't know what, what 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 it was. I don't know. If if you go to con in uh, United States. The artist Ali looks like just another, I mean, dealer Ali, you know, where they're pushing their merchandise and stuff. But this looks a lot more respectful. They look more, look casual, and people are actually, you could actually work there and, and produce uh, art. You, are, you feel like you can actually produce art in over there. Are those chairs on the table so that a, a, a fan can sit there and talk with you? Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Okay. So yeah, that is really that's amazing. I think cool, that's yeah. super cool. Yeah. Uh, and if they all complain, people fan all complain about too many artists. That means uh, they didn't have this one to one deal, or they had too many uh, one to one deal. Well, the thing is, like, uh, so then if you go back to that one where the the blue carpet, yeah, like, like that's the main the main hall, right? Yeah. And then see like all these doors that's you go into those and that's a whole other like room you know wow, how many okay. how many artists in each room uh so it kind of varied mm. like our room was you know the smaller one and then there's a the bigger ones with like maybe like 20 to 30 artists oh wow, that's cool it, it the way that this is laid out it looks like a really cool like um art museum yeah 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 and you actually yeah. get to see live art coming through. Yeah. yeah. And there's even, yeah, like that. <laughs> there's even like, like if you look in, if you walk down and then there's one where you, you look at it and it's, it's almost like, um, there's like trees in it and stuff. And it's almost like a, I don't know, like a oh, like, oh, uh, what, do you go, what do you call those? Or terrariums? Or, yeah. Or... Joe, that depends on if you got uh, big boobs or not, okay? <laughs> But it's almost like this. You see the trees, but then, yeah. I think that's be... cool because you're in that glass area. You can at least take a break and look at the nature and see, like, you know, the sky. If you're not yeah, and then work the room all day. I don't think I have it here, but there's one where I mean, you could see the lake and everything. The lake is Ooh, kind of over. Fancy. That. So, how many people? Okay, compared to this, compared to like a con that you do in like the states. I, was this like super packed like the whole weekend? Uh, it was pretty packed. Well, they said there's probably about a thousand people, well, a thousand attendees. Okay. Not including artists. artists. But 
it was, you it was know, quite a that's bit. That's not super bad because a lot of people that go to like a con here that gets like ten to twenty thousand people in it, most yeah. of them go to panels. They do the cosplay stuff. They yeah. wander around. They don't really go meet the artists. So all thousand yeah. people that were there were there to meet the artists. So that's right. pretty yeah. awesome. It's more concentrated. And there were no furries. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like that. Oh, uh, yeah, fair bring enough. Bring the conversation, furry conversation, please. Yeah. Oh, I'm, my bad. <laughs> The furries so were, actually, now, were actually animals <laughs> in the wilderness. Hey, That's Trev. where the horse meat came from. Oh. Hey, did you get your package, Trev, by the way? Hi, Trev. This is awesome. I, I really like this environment. And that is so cool. So Ryan does uh, commission work, but he does it through... Uh, TD Arts, yeah. TDR? Uh, yeah, her, TD is Tatiana Dykes. She's she's um girlfriend with um Joe Weens. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 So she's, <laughs> oh, okay. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. It's funny because like I I had friended her. I might have met her like at a Comic Con, but I didn't know she was an art dealer. Okay. And then like uh she was she was. Or like some of my artist friends, like Sia Ohm. I don't know if you know Sia. She worked for yeah. Aspen too. Um, she announced that she was being represented by Tatiana. So I'm like, hmm, maybe I should talk to her. So I contacted Tatiana, and she's like, yeah, I'd, I know who you are, and I'd love to, you know, represent you. And I'm like, wait, that your name sounds familiar. And then I'm like, wait, I I friended you on Facebook. <laughs> I'm like. I, I didn't know that that's who you were. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, she was like really cool. So what? So tell us, uh, they she organized all these uh, cons that you get to go to, right? Yeah, well, this one, and then mm -hmm. she was talking about possibly going to like Singapore next year. Wow. Well, okay. I don't know. Okay. I mean, I, mean, I don't know uh, if I'm going to. Uh, you know Bernard Chang. Uh huh. So he goes there. He's just actually came back. He started at Cape Town, went up and around, and every summer he does like an Asian tour because mm. his family is actually from Taipei. So he'll go there and stay there for like um, the whole summer, but he'll go to all the local cons around there. Oh, nice. Yeah, maybe. I mean, maybe. I even. Oh, I, that's also how I know Wildstorm. <laughs> yeah, I suggested, it great uh, point, it? Yeah. I suggested Japan. <laughs> you know, Japan is really big for a lot of the U.S. artists to go. I've been meeting up with a lot of local artists over the past like ten years that get invited to the Japanese ones, uh -huh. and it, it, they're they're not really like big. They're just kind of local artists, but they get huge uh, invites over there. Oh, nice. Yes, Baltimore, Baltimore, Baltimore. Baltimore. Yeah, uh, with a uh, wild right outside Baltimore, hmm? like right there. Actually, I go to Baltimore, so <laughs> yeah, hit him one. up, hit Nam up. He usually goes, yeah, yeah. I go to Baltimore. That's where Actually, I met I... Mike Will, I met Jim Stalin, uh, Jim Lee. Actually, I think I'm we might be going to Orlando. Orlando, I okay, I think it's uh early next year. Okay, we'll, we'll try to catch you in Orlando. I'll try to catch you in Orlando. Okay. Um, this, do I get to go to Disney World? I mean, that's... yeah, no, we gotta go to Disney World. Okay, yeah, okay. We gotta go you got to You gotta go see the Star. I really want to go. I haven't been since the fourth grade, and I dying to go to the Star Wars and the Harry Potter. Yeah, I gotta go see the okay. Star Wars park. I need to do that. Isn't there a Guardians lifesaver over there? I think they did open a Guardians, but I'm not sure which one that's at. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's over there, Florida. It's in Orlando. It's the um, oh okay. Cause I I go to the one over here in. Uh, Orange County, or well, California. But yeah. Yeah, I heard that they have uh, like a different Guardians okay. ride there. That's cool. <laughs> oh, yeah, Look this at, was um, oh, this is amazing too. Right? The Duomo in um, Milan. I've been to Duomo. I've been to Duomo. Did you walk up all the way up there? Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. what the other ones were. I thought I was going to die. See, <laughs> what are the other pictures? It has a zoomed in picture. Dude, well. that door alone is just well, insane. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Go, on, go to the other pictures. This one? I think there's more zoomed in. No. Yeah, one? like that one. It's crazy, <laughs> the detail on that. 
They didn't clean, clean up the place, though. You know. Uh, a lot of help. <laughs> yeah, there's Air a lot cans. of <laughs> so. dust on those uh, buildings. The only thing, the only thing was like my friend was telling me right before we went, like, 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 I, like people will come up to you and go, like, here's some corn for the birds or whatever. <laughs> and I'm, That's so I'm, cool. like, I'm like taking my, I'm taking video, and this guy is like, here, take some corn. I'm like, no, it's okay. Like, it's pretty. <laughs> I'm like I'm recording. <laughs> like, it's getting annoying, but nice. it's free corn, yeah. man. You gotta take. It's not free, but for me to take to take this off your camera, <laughs> I would cost you. <laughs> Corns are free, yeah. but if you want me to take this off your camera, <laughs> I will cost you. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Well, one day I'll make it back to uh, Baltimore. <clears throat> It's been a year since I've been there, but yeah, uh, one day I'll make it back. Uh, that's my first con, so it's all like my first love. Uh, oh, yeah, my was... first con was also Baltimore. It was like yeah. 2013, I think. Go back. I'll go back to the, the tablecloth. That was yeah. uh, Simon Bisley for the other one. Oh, yes, the biz. I just met him last week. Oh, really? <laughs> really? Which, yeah. which, which, which con you met him at? Uh, Motor City. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, crazy, he's a crazy artist, man. Simon Bisley. He's uh, I talked with Otaku last time. He's supposed to be at Rose City, so Otaku wants to go meet him when he's there. He seems as crazy as uh, as his art is. <laughs> <laughs> the first so, time, <laughs> yeah. So we we went, you know, there, during the reception, we had dinner. So there was like kind of a line, and you know, they were making or they had the food. So I walked in. I'm kind of looking I'm like. Looking at the food and stuff. He goes, he goes, hey, the, the end of the line's over here. <laughs> I'm just looking. <laughs> He's awesome. I was fangirling like hard. So John Jong was next to him. He had a booth next to him. And John and I spent like an hour just fangirling over Simon Bisley. Yeah. <laughs> so then Simon awesome. was like, all right, we're going to take a selfie. He's like, but the only way that we're doing this is if you flick the bird. And I was like, done. <laughs> 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 That's what we're doing. By the way, Ryan goes to San Diego kind of regularly. So. Okay. Nice. Yeah, we have a lot of friends in our Twitch group, like Wild and I, that go and uh, do that. Like Sean Chen and bernard chang they go there and they have like our couple of our friends do like meetups there oh yeah R ryan you can show the other book if you want this reminds me that you <laughs> you <have this> <laughs> <laughs> the biz. Yes. Mm -hmm. you want to show the other book ryan oh that, that. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. hey Vic. <laughs> hey, Vic. damn that's ugly just show up so update on your drawing Yes, yes. We have bonded now forever now. This ugly ass message. face. <laughs> <laughs> All right, show us. The yes. Love it. I haven't it's been sitting in my bookshelf forever. When did that one come out? This is uh probably in the nineties. Uh, probably. Okay. Wait, um, yeah, he did a Kickstarter, no, Indiegogo, one of those things about two years ago for his sketchbook, and I tell you, I backed that, and it was the most, it's it's amazing. What is this? Oh, really? That's wanna... awesome. Wild. Yeah, probably, it's probably like the 90s. I yeah. adore oh, his painting. Like, yeah, he's amazing. Um, uh, his painting is just fantastic. Have you seen his on uh, Instagram? He's been repainting the cover of Lobo One, like in a um, giant commission size one. And he's he'll talk like he'll do like little mini clips of it, and he'll talk about his techniques and what paint he was using and how he was like trying to match the colors back because he forgot how <laughs> to paint oh, nice. it for all those years. He has that on his Instagram. It's on his Instagram, and I think it might yeah. be on somewhere else also. But um, yeah. Then when I it's funny because. When I was, like, I was talking to his daughter while this other guy was there picking up some stuff. And mm -hmm. later, I met him in Richard Friend's stream. And he was like, hey, I was at Motor City picking up stuff from Biz. I was like, hey, I was next to you. And he has his uh, Kickstarter on now. And Biz does the covers for his art. 
And I was like, oh, it's like, what kind of weird world is that? <laughs> You're standing next to somebody at a con, and then you meet them in somebody else's stream. That was crazy. Wow. Well, I follow them now. Yeah. Some of these. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so let's check out his reels. That's where he's been talking about the painting of that uh, thing. Oh, cool. I'll have to check that out. <laughs> but yeah. I was telling Ryan that time I'm, I have this particular cup right here. Oh yeah, that's the yeah. fact yeah. too. It's F A K K two. So, yeah, what's that mean? F A K K two, by the way. Yeah, so that's fact two, and that was the basis for Heavy Metal two thousand. And if oh. you see the lady in red, uh -huh. that is the model for that is Julie Strain, who oh, used yeah. to be married to Kevin Eastman. Oh. So a lot of times when you see the art for Heavy Metal, she's mm -hmm. the model. Oh, she so she replaced Tara. Tara? No, no, no. So yeah, so in the second movie, she replaces Tarna, Tarna from the Tarna. heavy metal, the original uh -huh. one. But yeah, that, from Heavy Metal 2000, his Fact Two book, it's F A K K Two, <laughs> is uh the basis. What for does F A K K Two stands for? I don't know, but it, mm. <laughs> I have the book on my shelf, but I don't want to get it. But yeah, but you know, yeah, she's it's just fantastic. Wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, have you ever met a Rich Peralta? Peralta. He did Iron Man for a bit. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Horrible guy. Horrible guy. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, that's the that's the book right there. Yeah. yeah I think someone that's in there. Yeah. So if you ever want to see amazingly painted from front to back art books, like like a comic book that's just painted, look up Slaying the Horn God by Simon Bisley. Every single panel on it is, there's six, I think there's five or six issues. It's um, A3 format from the UK, but I also think they did a US release. But every panel in that is painted by Biz, and it's a fantastic. Yeah, I have the, this, I think I have this particular cover, I'm not sure. Uh, I think that's the calendar. Oh, that is that calendar? I think that yeah. one's the calendar. Which they still sell, by the way. Oh, what are you showing? Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Ryan, are you showing something? Yeah, yeah. he's showing. Yes. Oh, yeah. cool. <clears throat> he did do Wild. He did do. He actually had a couple covers for Wildcats that a lot of people don't know about. Well, hey, let's go. <laughs> Uh, I think Black around Black the, two, the 90s and 2000s, but yeah. Didn't you do uh, a Gen 13 or something? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Didn't you do a like, Gen 13? Let's go, yo, welcome to come hey, up. I don't know if you did a Gen 13 or not, but if you did, I need to find it, because that would be amazing. Okay, <laughs> hey, Roscoe. Uh, if, yeah. if he did, it's probably one of the uh, Gen 13 bootlegs. Uh, I know Adam Warren. Did art? He did issues eight, nine, and ten of the bootlegs, but I'm not sure about the other ones. But uh, oh yeah, the kung fu movie thing. Mm-hmm. I think they had. Yeah. Um... He did do Gen 30. Okay, you know what? I need to look yeah. that up because uh, I collect all of his covers. I think it was. A... So I have these. <laughs> these are. Wildstorm's gonna drill too. These are the uncut Gen 13. Oh no, don't show Wild that because <laughs> <laughs> that's his wheelhouse. That's what he collects. Just kidding. <laughs> this one might have the uh let me see. I'm gonna look it up. Oh yeah. Can you can you Google um uh, Gen 13, Simon Bisley. Hi, Glenn. <laughs> Wild says you're killing him. <laughs> no. like this. Ryan, you're killing me. <laughs> uh -huh. It's in there. Ooh, look at that. So Don't deep. flex. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even open yet. Yeah, oh, <laughs> wild! You hear that? Do I you own anything that's wild, Storm? Probably. You know what? A no. lot of people have stuff in their collection; they don't even realize it's wild, Storm. 
I all I have is a Jim thirteen trade. Because the only image stuff I care about is Savage Dragon, because I'm a moron. Savage Dragon uh, is a good read. That was fun. A B a B I S B I S. Yeah, I got that wrong yeah. again. But a lot of people pronounce it Beasley. One one S, yeah. Isn't that those creepy little dolls? Ooh, nice. Okay, I gotta look for this now. All right. Okay. So this is it? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like his art. That looks like a... It, I oh, look, I need that. Like a, yep. I need that. <laughs> Only 74 96 <laughs> It's also signed with COA from 95. Sign. Okay. Yep. No, we're looking for that. I'm going to be looking for that. Yeah, Thanks a lot, Wild. Yeah. yeah. In stock. <laughs> eBay. <laughs> eBay. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so for the Gen 13 number one, they had like all these alternate covers. It's like a okay. Mike Golden. Nice. Uh, or Adam. Uh, his paint. I am. Okay, so I love watching people paint. And um, Ryan Benjamin also does uh, streams on Instagram and Twitch. Mm. And he'll yeah. hang with his wife and he'll hang with Casual Hero that we also know. Um, but I love the way that he'll talk and do instructions on how like to do like simple things like art and painting. It's just, it's, it's awesome. But I adore just painted, painted comics. I wish more people would go to like the painted comics. I know it takes forever, but yeah. you could do it in, in, is in this digital acrylic wise. Or is this oil painting? It's probably oil. Be oil. I could see but if I, I can really get Ryan on yeah. here. Yeah. Let's see if I can get Ryan on here. Ryan Benjamin. Oh yeah, he's he's good dudes. Yeah. You invite Ryan? He's my good friend. Okay. <laughs> invite him. Okay. All your wild storm peeps. Yeah. My wild storm. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Now you got me wanting to do oil painting again. I I, I love oil painting. painting. Yeah. I've never oil oh. painted. Yeah, like he's able to what capture you... his painting style digitally because he does some like he like sketch it out and I guess he finishes it in digitally. Uh, and it's fascinating how you can do that. I, I love oil painting because it's a very forgiving. You could do it over just yeah, easy. but it takes so long to dry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I learned some uh, gua uh, gouache. Okay. Gouache. I mean, you got on oil painting. Got to wait till it dries. I don't know. The acrylic dries pretty quick, right? Acrylic. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It, if you're into the, all the like painted stuff, do you like gold key books just for the covers or? Yes, usually, sometimes. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I think it's fascinating. When you go back from, like, the 40s in that era, like, how they did their painting for their covers in, like, the interior artworks of their books, completely different on how you do it now. But you can tell the difference, like, when you see the art. Like, it, it's painted, painted, but, yeah. Hold on, I think that. that's awesome. Yes. Like, uh, I have a... I have a hatred for painted comics just because of this. Hold on, I can't see. Can you take the comment off or make him large now? I can't. I'm being, he's being blocked by the bottom. All right, hold on. Okay. <laughs> you have to go get another beer. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I love, I love Biz's sci-fi, like, fantasy horror-esque type it's it's just wackadoodle and i love it oh yeah so the I old boris stuff. karloff right mm -hmm. you expect something beautiful on the inside and then you got this naked mole rat throwing a man <laughs> so, <laughs> that still happens to today excellent interiors but yeah you can tell the you can tell the book by the cover yeah oh yeah you but know also, what yeah, go ahead. I, I did a story in that Wildstorm Chamber of Horrors. 
Oh, you did? Oh, cool. I think that. I have that somewhere. Oh, yeah. Can you introduce everybody? Because a lot of people are just coming in. And I don't think they see. Can I ask who this here. is on the panel tonight? This is Ryan Odegawa. Trev. <laughs> this is K-pop. Hi. And this is uh, Vic Duke. Big dude, big dude. Big dude. Do a. Do a. Do a. Do a. And and this I is. I feel the harassed. Is the <laughs> you look lovely, Dom. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> you I still have a slight the headache, dudes. but yeah, I'm feeling better. Thanks, Glenn. So here's my wool painting. Let me show you my wool painting. Ooh. I didn't finish it, by the way. <laughs> oh, wow. From the high school. But, you know, I have high school art everywhere, too. That's fine. Yeah. You know, that's pretty good for high school. Yeah, I'm going to make that. Next one I'm going to do, I'm going to make that snake much bigger. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So. But, uh, nice. What's it's wrong with high school art? I'm, uh, nothing big. Nothing big. I didn't say, did I say anything wrong with look, I have a high school guy here, that's why I'm showing my high school art. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> I have a I have a Star Wars. Damn. Oh cool. Yeah. And you know this right here? Somebody drop something and add to it. It looks like it's it's like, yeah. I've done that before. Yeah, yeah. What what is that on? Is that a can canvas piece or is that just like a paper? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Canvas yeah. panels. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> I love Sometimes that happens. Huh? Yeah. Sometimes that happens and just enhances your art. You're like, oh. <laughs> well, yeah, I yeah, didn't. Some, I mean, it, it was in storage for a long time. Then, then it, it that happened, yeah, and then like it it it's it's a participatory <laughs> piece. <laughs> Other artists get to participate on it. <laughs> you ever have like a pencil smudge that ends up fixing one of the faces you're doing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've done that where it kind of smudged on a piece, and it's like, oh, it gave a little. Depth to the <laughs> shadow. I saw some random stuff. Yay, random stuff. I love random stuff. Wait. Uh, we're doing the random Is that stuff? cracker barrel syrup? Lemoncello? Lemoncello. That stuff is delicious. Uh, my family on my mom's side is Italian. And watch out because my aunt makes that with Everclear and it wow. basically <laughs> it will knock you out. Flammable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then I got this with chocolate. Ooh, Ooh, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna yummy. We were in uh, Milan like the last days, and then um, we were going to go to this one chocolate factory, but it closed. We got there too late. And oh, then no. we didn't want to go back because we had to take a train to get from our hotel, from close to the airport to Milan. So that's, it was kind of far. So we missed... The, it, but then there was this other place called uh, Italy, and it's like a supermarket, and they have this, and uh, we're kind of looking for this. Where I think it, they were saying that kind of means like, um, I think there's like hazelnut mixed with it, but this one's very like smooth and like. Uh, oh, no, the it looks the delicious. Hazelnut. It's good. And did you say it was called Italy, like E A T? <laughs> yeah, Italy. <laughs> Okay, now that's amazing. <laughs> we thought it was more, I don't know, we thought it was more of like a, I don't know what we thought it was, but it, it, it seemed like a, oh, kind cool. of like a supermarket. This okay. is not like a good combination right here. And then, oh, yeah. Top of oh, this your is something. With a shot of a lemon collie. Corona. Should I be taking notes? Uh, maybe. Uh, no, no. It's not Wait for your college, name. Vic. Wait to college. <laughs> Yeah, I was Something. asking for in five Ooh. years. Something. Oh, that's, I didn't even notice. That. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, DVDs are still a thing. It's a Kickstarter. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I I don't even have a DVD player on my computer. How do you know what I don't even have one either. I have a second hard drive. <laughs> I can't even how, do I, how do I know what DVDs are? 
<laughs> I own I own VHS tapes. What do you mean? The world of drunken master. You have good taste, Vic. <laughs> so that's a Kickstarter exclusive. Is that yeah. what that says? Oh, I've never even probably. seen that. I picked up the Magnola documentary one, and I can't wait to watch that. I haven't watched it yet. There was a comic too. Uh, Ooh, oh, yeah. I love Dave yeah. Stevens' art. He he does some really awesome pinup style. Yeah, I art. I met him before he passed away. So. He passed away of um, like a, I think like a rare leukemia or something. Oh, that's too bad. Pretty sad, and they kind of go through it in this. And I actually, I had the the pleasure of like sitting next to him at one of the comic cons a long time ago, and he was like, he was like really nice, but he he had said something that like kind of stuck with me, and he said that he he was taking like art classes and it kind of mentions it in here where there was a period where he he wanted to learn how to paint more and stuff like that and it kind of struck me because i'm like wow he's like such a great artist and he's like still taking classes and you know that's cool that's also kind of humbling to to know that like someone that has been in the craft for that long still wants to improve themselves yeah even though they're considered a master at some things like that's amazing yeah. to me yeah he's he was a good he's yeah, a perfectionist yeah, totally I think, I mean, that was part of the story is that, you know, he's such a good artist. It was, he could never really do a regular series because he's, he, like, they would, you know, the publisher would be like, just finish that line. He's like, trying to make it perfect. And it's just like, we got to meet the deadline. And it's just like, you know, oh, just a, I, that's, that's a perfectionist. But yeah. Like you guys have it easier now from back then, <laughs> especially even like especially even like the Valiant Wildstorm days. Like how you used to have to like turn in your things and like all the color. Yeah, it's like so much easier yeah. now. Yeah, I know. Couldn't imagine it's being really like in that era. <laughs> I know. Otaku lost his job. <laughs> Dang, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> he lost his job. <laughs> He's replaced. <laughs> yeah. I He's going to go hungry with, with his lost job. <laughs> so is that, is that DVD still available? Do you know? I don't know. All right. Um, I'm going to have to look that up later. So that's cool. Yeah, I don't know about the, you know, the Kickstarters after it's done. Sometimes they have it on uh, some web page or something. Okay, I'll, I'll have to look that up because that's fascinating. I love the painting with fire one, the Frank Rosetta documentary. That that's great. If you haven't seen that, you gotta see that. It's cool. You know that you guys, uh, you know, Cantonese comic, comic kid. Yes, Jeff. Yeah, he, he Jeff knows a uh, daughter. Of, uh... Yeah, because he's there. He's based in Florida, so he meets up with them a lot. Yeah. The. The family of Frizzetta. Yeah, the family. Hmm. So he said, if we go to Florida, where his city is at, he will introduce us to Frizzetta family and take us to that museum. Wow. Yeah. So, I, would, I I want to go there one day. That's that's my goal. Yeah, I, yeah love, this, I would love to go there. So this one came with a comic, too, by um, Adam Hughes. Oh, nice. OK. Yeah. They have so much style. You can tell he kind of looked up to him <laughs> as an artist yeah he, yeah i mean i was sort of a fan of adam Hughes before i think i knew about him but you know they had had the very parallel but in here that you know he said like david stevens kind of almost like um what do you call it like passed down the torch sort of to adam hughes <laughs> yeah definitely it's like yeah definitely fitting but, but adam hughes did some of the pages in, in this comic it's pretty cool oh that's cool i'm gonna have to hunt this down now <laughs> yeah. hey ryan did you ever have any interactions with malibu no um who, who do you say malibu? Malibu, malibu comics, comics. Oh, malibu. yeah i know what's his name hank i think he he was in a lot of the early image pictures where where it's like Will Spartacio was supposed to be there, but I think it was Hank <laughs> Hank Canal. <laughs> I think he worked for uh, Malibu. I, I never really met them. But I think he worked oh. for Wildstorm like after I left, like the early two thousands. The the Malibu people are actually pretty cool. 
even if they did get bought out like I shouldn't be talking since you're a wild storm person. Never mind. <laughs> it happens. I mean, heck, I got a dark child poster on my wall that is from Max and Preston Homage Studios. <laughs> yeah, you don't see, you don't hear about that anywhere. Amish <laughs> um, um, Studios. Yeah. Oh wait, what is that? Uh, it's it's like Maximum Press Homage Studios, and then yeah, it was, I think yeah. Wild knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> was it a? Uh, it was early '90s. Maximum was Lifefalls, right? Uh, was it? I'm not sure. Yes. Maybe? Uh, like he did a lot of uh stuff. I think on those those titles, yeah. After he left, sorry. You can go ahead. Uh, after he left, he changed Extreme to Maximum. Mm. Okay. So what is it? Is that a? A picture or is it just it's so... a poster of dark child it's one of the comics oh, that was from there so yeah which is actually heartbreaking because randy queen who randy came queen. up with that and did the artist lost the rights to his book because it, it kept changing titles and he mm. spent the, like the last like 10 years in court getting his the rights to his comic back oh which is Find sad but he did fight. he did eventually get it he's supposed to be coming back with new material for it now but oh. yeah my it was my favorite in high school <laughs> Yeah, that was my my thing. I wanna I wanna share my experience. Hold on. Uh, yo, this is a thanks, Trav. <laughs> oh, nice. Let me see if I could put my there. Now this this is my very first comic cover sketch cover I ever done. You know how scary it was. Try to put a pen to that pen. To that. Uh, I would imagine extremely scary. That's why I haven't even done one yet. <laughs> it was a, 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 first of all, I don't like ruining comic books. Right? <laughs> I, I just absolutely, no. not, I absolutely not want to ruin my comic books. And, <laughs> and the blank page staring at you for months at a time. I mean, it was so scary. I mean, I'm Ryan. I had had. Can you even remember the days when you felt scared about the blank page like this? <laughs> I still do. <laughs> oh, <you> still? <laughs> <laughs> okay, then tell us about that then. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. A lot of times I do. I'll just do uh, roughs on the computer, or or just even like a like doodles. So then like, and then I just. I just mess up there and then I blow it up on my and print it out. Okay. And then I, I think I have, I'll see. Thank you right here. Oh, neat. This is on in Photoshop. So I, I just mess up on here a lot. I do all the mess ups here for the most part. You know, okay. Lay out all the, like your, your pre, like your pre drawings type thing. Yeah. So then I have a light box right here. I don't know if you can see. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, light boxes are cool. Okay. See the light. <laughs> so you, you you find you find the you like the best one, then then you light box it, chase it over, huh? Yeah. Then I so I have all the structure and stuff there. Mm. I mean, I you can't really do that on comic covers, I guess. But yeah, you can do that on comic covers. It's uh, they're kind of thick. Well, maybe the Marvel ones, but <laughs> yeah. <know. laughs> Even then, uh, I might do like a little thumbnail or try to figure out what I'm going to do first. I like to okay. find some kind of projector projects it down and. Oh yeah, yeah. That's neat. I've seen those. Uh, her face was very lovely. Also, I loved her face. It's very nice. Oh. I can't believe I can't believe Otaku is going to miss this one. I can't believe Otaku is going to. Oh, he's Otaku, fired. You miss it. Boo, Otaku. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Fire. Is he still yeah. running the baseball thing? <laughs> What's that doing? Uh, Is he coming up? Yeah, he's missing Psylocke. I can't believe he's missing oh, He'll watch it on a playback and be like, oh. oh. <laughs> if you're watching it on playback, it doesn't count with Taco. Oh, you hear that? You hear that? Spice. We got some spice. <laughs> Almonds popping off for once. 
<laughs> oh, he does late nights. Yes. Huh? Yes. Uh, I get, around, but yeah, it gets quite spicy. <laughs> you usually CJ tells me children go to bed. <laughs> yeah, I, some random stuff too. Well, I, I have yeah, I that's bought, that one's mm-hmm. thing, right? I bought these at Bellagio. They're kind of like watercolor. How much nice. you bought those for? Are they originals or prints? Prints. Uh, they still look. They still look fairly like like actual like. Whatever they did to scan that to make the print of it did a very well job picking up like the brush yeah. and stuff. And the paper is like te- kind of textured too. Oh, nice. So this is the the um Via Balbinello, the Star Wars one. Mm, the, with the canals, that one. Um, I think uh like Padme comes in like right here. Isn't that where you were standing in the doorway facing? Yeah, the... I was down here and then you... yeah go up here. Oh, nice. That's, that's where... That's super pretty, yeah. That's where um, Anakin says, like, like I hate sand or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's coarse and gets everywhere. <laughs> I think he... I think they uh, replaced this with, like, CG and stuff. Maybe. Yeah, I think it was more, like, rounder in the... Yeah, the dome. Yeah. 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 And then this this is, um... um what do you call it? Bellagio? And that's funny for people who, from Vegas because oh yeah Bellagio from Vegas Bellagio yeah <laughs> but this is the, I guess the actual Bellagio it was like uh-huh. it's actually kind of like across from each other from Lake Como oh so Lake okay. Como's like right here and then this one's on this side and then this one, Bellagio oh, that was was from the okay okay yeah. I love the brickwork in that in that walkway right there that's so cool yeah. that's neat it's pretty nice. You do any kind of a background work, Ryan? Do you like doing those? A mm, little bit. I know when I was like just starting to draw, like when I was really young, I would do like back background type of stuff. Yeah. I'm trying to I'm trying to find frames for these. They're like the A4, I think. Okay. Yeah, there's some weird sizes. So I went to I went to um, the arts or Michaels. Michael, mm-hmm. Yeah. Get a, Luckily, this was 11 by 17, but this one's like A4, so I don't... You have to put a your frame into it. So okay. what I, I ended up doing, because it's so expensive to get framed, they have mm-hmm. like a section on the side where they have the, the mats where you just cut yourself, and I just cut oh. them myself. So oh, okay. it's way easier to do that <laughs> than put them in the, the frames, yeah. I like doing this. Or maybe know. Amazon. I think they have ones on Amazon. Yeah, Amazon probably, yeah. I haven't checked, but I was like trying really hard just to find somewhere to put some stuff in because my uh, I have a, a, a crow art piece over there that's from James Abar and it's in that one and I can't find a frame for it yet. Not a frame but a, a mat for it. Uh, Wait an original? Mm-hmm. Is the micro right here? Damn. Micro yeah I met him um, at Astronomicon. He's local. He lives like right around here so he hits up all, all of our local cons. I gotta get a job where my cons are less useless. <laughs> uh, I pick the ones that have the artists that I want to go to, or if I know like there's gonna be a meetup with a lot of people uh, that I want to see and hang with. But yeah. K-pop, you yeah. have a con and open up a booth. I was planning on doing that a couple years ago, and then I took like a two-year break from like art and everything. But I'm just now getting back to it. But I actually have been doing booth babe work <laughs> for other, my, my art friends. Uh, and I'll be actually at a con at the end of July helping my friend sell her. her she, she's a horror novelist. And my other friend, Don, I, I've been writing to him for like free comic book day for like decades. Um, he does the art and then she does the, the writings. So I'll be helping her at this. Um, it's kind of like a book con, but it's only like one day. It's neat. Boop babe, what's a boop babe? Uh, a babe that sits at a booth <laughs> and hustles the wares, I, I, I like Vanna that. White. You know, I'd be like, ooh, I ah, come or, uh, and buy my things. Yes. When they had Vogue <laughs> next to a uh, life shit. <laughs> Vic, if you need a, you need to open up a booth and you need a boop babe, let me know. I had one. I had one for my, uh, my comment. <laughs> Oh, ooh. she was my 
my friend. Nice. She, we made a cosplay for one of my characters. Oh, cool. Does she do cosplay? What's her name? Uh, Bree. She was, she was, um, she was on like YouTube. Um, have you ever heard of uh, Just Kidding News? No. No. They're like, they're like local to me. They're like around here, but they're kind of like somebody channel they, they still post like every every day like okay they do a lot of new like uh back in the day they had like g4 and all that stuff yeah yeah like actually nerdy oh. stuff yeah yeah it's a long story but what one, one of the girls that was on the new g4 uh gina it was kind oh, of a part yeah. of that group yeah okay yeah i was know she, her yeah was she kind of complicated um her ex-boyfriend, when they were together when we did this, but yeah. they split up since. But like, he's he's still working for them, and he's yeah. like one of the editors. I I have a similar story. My friend Dave, who was in Virginia, used to be a cosplay photographer, and he used to date Stella Chu, and they used to hang around oh. Yaya and Jessica and Nagiri, and yeah, then he like, got all elitist and stopped hanging around anybody else <laughs> after that. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah, so. yeah, but no, she's really cool. So she has her own cosplay page. Um, does she have her own cosplay page, or she just do that like for fun? No, this was like literally the first cosplay I think she she did. Really, that's amazing for first cosplay. Cause I was just, I was just like, I mean, she she models and stuff, but um. Okay. We had hung out one time, and I was like, "Would you be open to like doing a cosplay of my character?" She's like, "Yeah, Dang. you know." Did she okay. make that outfit? No, so um, I hired someone who like actually does. Uh, he does a lot of like costume design. Oh, that looks lovely. The art. Red Star? <laughs> Not really. Uh, I've done them for free. <laughs> yeah, I've done the water at one table. <laughs> Hey, no, yeah. man, I need you to gain, like, 50 pounds of muscle real quick before the next guy. <laughs> <laughs> 50 yeah, pounds so there's of kind of, muscle. <laughs> there was kind of, like, a small window when we made this, and, like, okay. we we took the, the time to make it, and then I was like, okay, so you guys are going to go to Comic-Con, right? <laughs> and they're like, no, we can't, like... <laughs> That's why we made it. So like, okay, like you know, you should have got a cardboard pay, cutout. Pay for the uh, oh, yeah. Pay for gas and stuff. So I, you know, I paid for gas and they came down and they went to Comic Con one year and she dressed up. <laughs> she was just wearing it like the whole time. And so that's pretty... your original character from a comic. Yeah. What comic, from... what comic is it from? Promote it now. Oh, okay. Oh, that's pretty. Um, have it right here. Oh my gosh, my hair. Uh, right here. Oh, neat. I love concept art. Oh, wow. Okay, she looked really a lot like that. She did a great job on that. Yeah. Kind of spur of the moment, last minute. <laughs> We're sticking you in a outfit. So then, like, this oh, pattern. wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I found it on online or something. But that's cool. I actually, I have a um, silk screen. <laughs> And actually, flip a page. Let me see if what could I could cosplay as. Huh? Flip a page and let me see what I could cosplay as. Oh, who did you? Uh, yeah, you're that guy right there. Yeah, right here, this you. guy right here, this guy in white. Yeah, beard. that's you. <laughs> I could, you can I could easily get that on. done. Yeah. 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 Can you grow the facial hair? If not, we can yeah. do some. Uh, I put it on. I got, we can I do can some it. some makeup. It's fine. Hey, Naaman, I know how else you could be a booth kid. You gotta oh. become Jewish. <laughs> uh, ben says he has that book. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Ben, how you get oh, that? Oh, hey, Comic Meg. I think you... Was he the winner of the book last time? He won the giveaways, I think, right? Ben, you won Probably. the book? <laughs> <laughs> nice. I don't know if yeah. you remember the this was this was a girl that was a 
she was with us on campaigning for Andrew Yang. You remember? What's up? This, I don't know if I'm, I'm, I don't know if this is uh, appropriate to show her Instagram uh, photos. Probably not. I'm, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> do a backstage. Yeah, I'll do backstage when. We'll yeah. Back. Yeah. Uh, how did submitting to places work back in the day? Because I have no point of reference. Because it seems very different now. Yeah, I'm sure it's... I don't know. I don't know if it's easier or not. <laughs> what kind of I exercise do you do it. for, like, uh, any, you do any kind of exercise to improve your skill set? Me? Wait. wait. You're yeah, me? Ryan, you. Yeah, Ryan, you. Did I have? Yeah. Do you do anything like a daily routine kind of things? Uh, well, now, now I just try to do like the commissions and stuff like that. Yeah. Whenever I have time, and yeah, really like exercises my. <laughs> just so trying to figure out. Uh, having a project is better than just like a meaningless doodles or some kind of exercise. Yeah, I mean sometimes. Doodles help too. Like, like I was doing like, I just kind of do um, it. Expressions. Yeah, because I got the, you know, I got this brush. Oh, you're getting ready for some. I'm just kind of like messing yeah, around. You're doing some watercoloring. Doing like, uh, well, I mean, it's like nothing, but yeah. Someone, someone at the con said like, they use, they put salt on it. Yes. To absorb it. I hear that. So if you put, if you sprinkle salt down, wherever the salt hits, it'll leave the white underneath. So then you brush it away. That's how you leave the galaxy patterns. Oh, galaxy. So yeah. kinda, I kind of did it, but I don't know. I just wanted to see what it did. You, did you brush the salt off? Or is it still on the paper? You can lick it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's something like, um, like you really have to wet the paper. Then you oh, put the okay. salt yeah. down, and then when you put the ink down and it does a little swirly woo wooness, it'll miss wherever the salt hits, and then you just mm. kind of brush it off when it's oh, semi dry. That was like a couple years ago, a year ago, right, Ben? It was like yeah. a year ago. I won the book, and he put a awesome. sketch in it also. Cool. That's cool. You know, one of the things my high school art teacher asked to do, one of the projects was take a watercolor, you know, paper, whatever, and just take a brush. Randomly put a color on it and just swap it through. And then on top of that, if you see any kind of image in it, draw images on there. So like, okay. So like a random image. It's so like uh, what, uh, I don't know if you saw it, but a uh, Slippy Reader had a, where he started drawing from reference of a blurred image. Mm -hmm. And they, he, so basically, he just put the values in, and eventually, the next time they, you know, they sharpen the image a little bit more until he finally see the image. But uh, he start just putting value in. Then he saw the image and start drawing the image. So like a, like a, like a watching a cloud and saying, hey, I see some kind of elephant in there, you know, and yeah. start drawing the elephant. You know. There's a couple interesting artists where they'll take like random materials or like um, old, old, old inking style tools, especially like the traditional calligraphy ones, and they'll shred mm -hmm. like pieces on there and they dip it in like ink. Then mm -hmm. they kind of shake it off and then they kind of plop it on the page and kind of move it around a little bit. Then they draw something from whatever they see in the ink block. The ink block, ink block art. <laughs> yeah. No. But they'll do like really intricate, like Batman, like comic art pieces based on just whatever they see in the art. So they'll just ink fully ink the page after that. So it's really neat. It's very yeah, great. Hey, can it? I can. Oh yeah, those are neat. Yeah, those pens are cool. Yeah. You know what I like to get is those feather pens. Those the feather nibs. Pens. Nibs is that nibs? I have to get used to this though. It's, I'm used it's to. It's very like, strange. Yeah. I'm used to. The, I'm more of a like pen anchor. anchor. Yeah. The yeah. Okay. One. That one's more wide. The other one's wider. Yeah, this one's more like 
comfortable. I've never really used it like this. These, these things can like drop a, a block. For, I mean, that's very dangerous. It just could drop a little block. Yeah. Talk about scary. Well, they also you gotta be very careful too of how much pressure you're putting on them because the it, the the middle of them will crack and split. No, oh, I see. Yeah. 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 So you do, you do much of that with the with the K-pop? You do much with that one? Not too much. I want to get into doing that. And then my friend from Amsterdam makes handmade ones, and he will hand bind his own books. So I have an entire mug over there of like from bottle caps old like uh it, it's very weird like old tweezers and stuff that he made that he makes these crazy art pieces with so i have a whole set over there i can mess with <laughs> it's very interesting but i i have the ink the india inks and the higgins inks to use for that and i i really want to start using that um that style of ink mm. Mm. cool yeah it is have you, I've gotten like so many different pens. I've gotten could it microns. Oh no, those are the Japanese ones. Yeah. Secure. Those are awesome. Is it the... Could it could it take? This one is yeah. Yeah, this one's uh, micron. Yeah. I think the Kuratake ones are the ones that uh Jerry Ma, because they own an art supply store, I think, are the ones that he's always talking about. Yeah. These ones seem to like kind of dry though. And these which ones? Tried, the this microns? One? It seems one? like pretty good. So, what is Otaku finally here? Otaku! Oh, oh you 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 hey, Otaku! Hi! You son of a! <laughs> shall we show him? Shall we show him? Ryan, shall we show him the? Show the hold on, hold on! Everybody vote! Everybody vote! Shall we show him the that print or not? Yes or no? Mm. If, well, oh, I know. see it already. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It'll be a reward for finally oh, showing wow. up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, my bad. I I was like, I, I got done at nine. I just think, I just thought, I saw the live stream. I, there was like all, you know, so many people. And I was like, well, it looks like it's going to wrap up soon. And I thought, but you guys are still going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're having fun. <laughs> what happens when you get a bunch of uh, nerds to nerds. work out? <laughs> so Ryan, that is that your Psylocke? This is a new new commission. I got. Wow. And he's going to make it into a make print. A print too. He's going to make a print out of it. Oh. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So where do you sell your prints at? Just at cons, or do you have a website where you can? Purchase them. Um, yeah, I have a website, website, and then uh, it cons too. I have to, I have to print some, uh, some new ones for okay. Comic Con pretty soon. What cons? Okay. What cons are you coming going to coming up? Uh, just Comic Con, San Diego. Oh, San Diego. Okay. I think, and then, and then whatever else, and then <laughs> probably for next year, maybe Orla uh, maybe Orlando if, if we go. Orlando. Which one's that one's Com uh, Megacon? I don't even know. Wait, what was that? Because uh, there's there's one coming up now in Florida, which is oh shoot, was it? What did he tell there's me? There's Daytona Beach Comic Con that's in a few months. Mm, no, this was a different. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, nice. So you're gonna get a Harley? Oh, cool. Well, I'm gonna have to browse your store. Oh, dang it. Yeah, I need oh, to yeah. Some of them. Go back up. Go back up. Who's that? Which one? Diva. Diva. Oh, Diva no. from Overwatch. That's the boo. Yeah. <laughs> What's an Overwatch? Diva. You don't know what Overwatch is? No. Oh man. Are you sure you're a young dude? I don't. I'm get number it. one. Yeah. Listen, I, I don't get to game like a normal person. I spend six <laughs> hours a day hunched over a table. Then I got Ooh. school. And you're doing all those on the pearlescent cardstock? Oh. Those are so yeah. pretty. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Oh, that, you know, Whoa. earlier someone asked about my favorite colors, right? Uh, the somber one is, sombra one is colored by uh, Danimation. Oh, okay. I've heard of that guy's name before, and I'm pretty sure I've seen yeah. his, his he work. He's kind of like, he's kind of weird. Like, he kind of stopped coloring um, a while back. Yeah. That's too bad. Like some people just get sidetracked with other stuff, but 
They get, yeah. they get really good at what they do. I think he kind of wanted to get more into like drawing his own stuff. Can you click on okay. that uh, Spider Man and his amazing friends one? This one? That's yeah. cool. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. You do some really good perspective angle pieces that are nice. Oh, thanks. It's like fresh take on like all the same thing that's been done like a yeah. million times. Yeah. Ryan, I love your Spider Man. And I love your Psylocke. <laughs> oh, yeah. So the, <laughs> the Psylocke's going to go on. The Spider Man, uh, the Spider Verse one? Uh, yeah, those are cool. Oh, it's so connecting. Cool. Yeah, it connects. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's cool. You zoom in on the Spider Gwen one. You see that there's a dog and and then the, the two, the couple right there? Uh huh. That's, that's your dog? Yes. That's the, that's the cosplayer and. His, so, um, oh, cool! Oh, <laughs> that's neat. Oh, that's, that's your cosplay right there. Yeah, that that was her, and then um, the one holding the dog. Is, another Easter egg in this, right? Oh yeah, in there. Nice. Can you see it? Oh, the driver. Yeah, rip stand. Driver. Yeah. You zoom into the driver. Can I even zoom in? That's you. Is that you? He zoom in or click on it. Uh, probably yeah. can't. Does it get bigger? It's stuck on the website. Uh, maybe hold click and bring it over to another tab. It should. Wait, doesn't it get bigger? No, but you can open the image in another tab. Yeah. Yeah. What about this? Wait, you you see <laughs> is, that, is that you? No, that looks like name. you. No. Look at the license plate, and then <laughs> that's Stan Lee. <laughs> oh, it's Stan Lee. The resemblance is uncanny. <laughs> no fear. Who's who's with Stan Lee? It looks like um. This is a random person. This is a random person. Stanley's fan. Stanley's fan. The, the one twenty is my Look at the license plate. This yeah. fighter was. He's gonna he's gonna crash into something because he's lost. his mind. <laughs> The one, the one twenty is my initials, and remember, like pagers. Oh, it, yeah. it, was, it was always there's never like letters, no. just numbers, right? So in pager code, it's my initials. So it's, yeah. Oh, by the way, this is oh, she's a Lyft oh. customer, by the way. Uh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Lyft, yeah. Please explain to me what the heck a page pager is. I'm uh, confused. Yeah. Not free cell phone. Everyone, everyone was a doctor in the 90s. Something for people, because I like all yes. the people that's on the chat room right now. Mm. Trev, yes. all that. So you, know, you, know what's, you know what's funny? Well, you, you know what a pager is, right? It's, it's no. pretty, like, so everyone had, it was very, like, primitive. <laughs> it was just yeah. a, it just would, so, you could just type in, um, it was like, you could call maybe, someone and, Type maybe like numbers. that size, maybe you know, it's like kind of chunky, and you like you could put it on a belt clip, and it had like a tiny little like calculator esque <laughs> strip on it. Can you search you it? Just like speed numbers. Next thing you're gonna tell me is you had a CD player on your hip too. <laughs> it's an oh, yeah. yeah. Can you search it, Naman? Yeah, yeah. yes. The I was pager. thinking a Walkman. <laughs> pager. Yes. Yeah. I think everybody at one point had uh eight zero zero eight. Your boobs. I three five. <laughs> so we have to come up with our own like <laughs> code, or you know, just like yeah, yeah. Turn the numbers into. See, even yeah. there, like we yeah. have like letters, but then we just yeah. had numbers. Pa like pagers were around for like uh, really strong for about three years i want to say yeah. like three everybody was using pagers for three years mm -hmm. and yeah. then as soon as a cell phone hit it's like everybody that blew up yeah, yeah. everybody stopped using pagers like what pagers. was it and tamagotchi <laughs> and then the the one oh, the I, want, I want that back i want that somebody to bring that back okay. Tamagotchi. They still make them. They still make them. They they yeah. make really cool ones now. They make like the Star Wars one and a bunch of other ones. But yeah, they Ooh. have. I still have my original one upstairs. You know I the know alive? Is it still alive? <laughs> no, <laughs> he died. I know. For <laughs> some died. reason, <laughs> the uh, Korean exchange student carried around a Hello Kitty uh, Tamagotchi. Yeah. At my school. 
That's fun. I carried mine around and, in high school, uh, and that was uh, 25 years ago. You know one of the funniest things? Uh, is, uh, you're old. You know, yeah, I'm old. You know Jay-Z, his song, uh, Give It To Me? Give it to me. <laughs> uh, he In the lyrics, he says, at the end, he goes, Motorola two way pager, uh, like that's like, like that's like the pinnacle. That is. <laughs> Some like Motorola phones that were like this big and they had that chunky <laughs> antenna. They were like three inches. That's like old car phones yeah. back in the day. The StarTac. Because if you don't know what a pager is and you see what a car phone is, <laughs> Ma- imagine <laughs> seeing that in a song. As in, like you know, he's yeah. like the richest guy out there, and that's like the pinnacle. The Motorola <laughs> two way <laughs> pager. <laughs> I'm trying yeah, to find my window. I out, yeah. lost my window. Hold on. Somebody came on. Uh, Otako? Him? Yeah. Yeah. See who's on and let me in if he's an okay person. Let me see. Uh, is it uh, bad that I don't know who you're next to? Who? Oh, it's Sikatron. Oh, hey, Sik. What up? How's it going? Hi, Sik. We got a party up in here. Party. I just um, came back from using my typewriter. <laughs> no, no. Doubt. I actually had a typewriter as a kid, which uh, yeah. is concerning. Do you see Wanna... the crazy people that do typewriter art and they'll do like landscapes and portraits and they'll like type certain keys to yeah, make I art? So I, 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 I don't even know do how that. that even works, but yeah, that's crazy. You guys know what ASCII art is? Do what? ASCII art. Yeah, it's oh yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. That's that's what we're that's so the typewriter can do that kind of stuff, right? Mm. Then there's the NZ art. NZ art is something I was able to do. I do a cool Wolverine with that. I wish I could have that Wolverine drawing back. Yeah. Because it actually has color. NZ art. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I miss uh back in the day I was doing saucy pinups on uh, MS Paint. <laughs> that took forever. You know when I when I was young we had a Apple two C computer. It was just like the real ancient computer. Yeah. I draw pictures. I draw like a Jim Lee picture with like pixels like that big. You know. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that was fun. Yeah. Was that the one in the mon? Like you, you put the floppies in the monitor. Like it's a yeah, huge I square. Think so. Yeah. The, <laughs> yeah. The, 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 the original Apple uh, computers. That those were, I, find it. I, find it. I had that in college, and all I did use that was to do papers and play Tetris. <laughs> <laughs> Crap! Now right. I want to play Tetris. Have you guys in there? What? What says the hashtag to win a Ryan's poster? Oh okay. Uh, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. How does I'm technically, I'm work? technically uh, a viewer on this one. <laughs> <laughs> well, the poster when it's, when it's made. <laughs> what is, what's the, oh, we're not doing the Psylocke giveaway. No, we're not doing the Psylocke giveaway. <laughs> oh, we're not doing the Psylocke giveaway. All right, I'll sit, sit out then. <laughs> <laughs> Once I make it to an actual print. <laughs> huh? When are you gonna print that, uh, Ryan? If it's not too long away, I'll put it in. I'll, I'll put uh, it in. I don't know. I still have to finish it. And then, <laughs> well, hopefully it's before Comic Con. Like six months, three months. <laughs> well, Comic Con's in July. Oh, that's months. not too far. Yeah. The way I give up my prizes, I, I'm sure everybody's, everybody's used to me being really late. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> The trap, let them know, Tram. <laughs> uh, oh, Ryan. Trav. Oh, there's Trav. Shout out to Trav. Trav is um, doing his uh, 700, 800 subscriber giveaway. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, and he actually did a shout out for me on there, and it was super nice. So thank you, Trav. Cool. What should we call this, Ryan? I'm just going to call it Ryan. How's that? Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan. Uh, start. Wait. So, are we are are we giving away that uh, original piece? <laughs> <laughs> you don't even give me an original piece. What are you talking about, man? That's funny. Otaku was like, "Nope, I'm gonna go enter right now." What other? Uh... I mean, I guess we could do uh, a print. <laughs> Just have to wait a little bit. 
It, it's going to be colored print. Yeah. yeah, it's one of the yeah. That's going to be right. awesome, man. I want to get one. You got to have another one so that it, you have the, the, what do you call it? You do two for, two for 40, right? Two for 30 something? Yeah. I was yeah, that was a sale. Uh, you just had that sale on the, cool. the connecting ones I saw. Oh, yeah. Ooh. That's uh, somebody else. I know, but it was still cool. I oh, like you got a super cool. Is that, who was that? Supergirl? Supergirl, yeah. Oh, man. That's nice, too. That one I kind of retired. I you did? Sold out and then... I like thinking oh. they're going to be in peace. I see some booze up in there. Up I might be doing. <laughs> I might print. Um... I, I like this one right here. That'd be cool. Those are all nice. The store yeah. one. I like that you add the swirly woos in the hair. I don't know the yeah. technical term for that, but that's how I <laughs> associate it with good watercolor and uh, hair. Is the woo woos? I, I might print the um, the rogue gambit one on my Instagram. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's oh, nice. that's a nice one. Gambit, you say? Gambit. Rogue and gambit. Rogue gambit. Ryan, I'm gonna look for the Instagram, right? Uh, yeah, guys. So everyone in chat, type in hashtag Ryan to be entered into win a a print or some kind. Where's the sign, room? sign print? Should we load it down? <laughs> oh man! Oh, she's Download. pretty. Download. Oh, nice. no, no, it's not that one. Good. Uh, down lower. No, those are the oh, nice. Nice. Download. Nice. Download. Other one, yeah. Ooh, Ooh. I like that one. Cool. Yeah. That's Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> black pink. Uh, wild wants to know if there, is there any wild storm prints? I don't know if you saw that zealot or not, but you know, that was on there. Nice. Nice. I don't have any prints out. So when you sell these original artwork of there... Marvel characters, oh, cool. are there any copyright issues? Like, can they send uh, you a cease and desist, or do you need no. to like get a license to do anything like that? No, uh, They're usually okay with it, or I don't know. <laughs> they don't say legally, they yeah, can, yeah, yeah, but they yeah. don't. Probably. Yeah, especially like at Comic Con, I think a lot of people were kind of complaining, or they were kind of they always, there was. They would always kind of like want to do something, but then they never really did. Uh, did they make an example out of somebody? Did they make an example out of people? <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. I think too many people uh, complain or something. The reason they don't do anything is if there were at every con people were doing original characters, they would eventually be more popular. <laughs> <laughs> Like honestly, <laughs> yeah. uh, well, so that depending that's on the con, theory. they will actually tell you to remove some materials off of your booth, depending on where you're at. There's a couple places in New York that you cannot sell Disney and or Star Wars merch. And then when my friend had a booth at the last C2E2, they made him remove his shirt from his table because they said that you were not allowed to sell shirts. Oh yeah, that's that's a no-no. Yeah, shirt is no-no, right? Shirt well, it depends. Some cons will allow it, but some cons will not. I mean, this, these prints are something that he worked on. He used his own uh, coloring. I mean, he used his own paper. Just like, uh, I mean... There you go. That material cost. I remember I talked to a lawyer about this, this once... Uh, crap up. they have rights to reproduction so Sorry. you're not supposed to but if they sued everyone they'd go bankrupt yeah it's kind of like it's kind of like you're not supposed to download uh you know bootleg digital content but how are you gonna you know how are you gonna enforce it it's like you're breaking the law right but no one's, uh, no one's gonna come I have to never read a downloaded comic in my life. I definitely have not read 
six entire 50 issue series in one night because of bootlegs. I was thinking There's more some, of like uh, videos. Is it, I, I sense some sarcasm. Yeah, me too. Uh, I can't. Okay. Some, okay. Um, there's some places like I know Top Cow and on Humble Bundle, they'll do free PDF versions of comics for you to download. Anyway, I want to go ahead. Five, four, three, oh. two. Oh, I thought five. he was ending the stream. I was like, oh, oh, oh I guess we're done. <laughs> Wait, why am I there? <laughs> like, no. you, entered the, you entered Ryan. I had so many oh, 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 questions. Oh, 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 hey, Pop. <laughs> Congrats. Thank you. <laughs> All right, K-pop. <laughs> All right, K-pop, you're going to have to choose. What are you going to, yeah. Let's know oh, what are you going to choose. Ooh. So many choices. Uh, I'm not I'll getting out of this. <laughs> I like the DC ones. There were some good ones on there. Uh oh Where are we going? Come on, where, where is it? Where is Hashtag rigged. <laughs> <laughs> I need to reduce this. <laughs> minus, 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 minus. It was rigged. <laughs> <laughs> we got spinning the wheel again. Spin the wheel again. Until I win. <laughs> Until you win. <laughs> <laughs> so you get two choices and it's for thirty dollars. So, Harley's two nice. for thirty. They're on sale for two for thirty. Yeah, two for thirty. So that's a really good deal. Oh wow, yeah. that is a really good deal. Okay. So for those of you who are salty about not winning, just buy it off the man. It's cheap. <laughs> or, yeah, yeah. yeah, just just buy off of here. Ryan, I mean Odegawa dot com. Yeah, oh, I like so I like know. the Harleys. I do. This uh, one? Harley is my boo. This one. Yeah, I nice. thought uh, the annoying Overwatch just, character was. The Jester, the Jester costume. The Jester costume is pretty also. I oh, just got a new Tetris high score. the Funko Pop of that over there. This one? Nice. Yeah, she's cute. I like her a lot. Yeah. So that's two. All right. Oh, that, it you. is that $30, right, Ryan? <laughs> <laughs> I think only some of them are two for 30 no, I think you have a two for. Oh, I know what it is. I, 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 you have to use the right interface. You got to use the right interface. Hold the on. right interface. Okay. Here it says on sale, two prints for thirty dollars. Right here. Ah, uh, aha. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, there you go. Then you uh -oh. pick a two. I can't see what that says. It's hard to make it intuitive. <laughs> uh -huh. There's Harley Quinn red and black, and Harley Quinn two size squad. Oh, yeah, this is the one. Uh, yeah. But don't forget to remove the other two from your cart, though. Yeah, yeah. No, okay. <laughs> yeah. Then I gotta remove what these. What was that noise? Somebody awesome. hit the thing. Yeah. Come on, Mike. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's the um, oh. original. Oh, mm -hmm. you might want to make him Ryan big so that you don't see anything oh, else. That's the, uh, the pearlescent paper. Oh, nice. the pearl yeah, I have, um, you know, Nen, uh, that... Retro Mortis, Rent Nen, mm. uh, no. she does Baltimore oh. a lot, and she has, she's been on the God Killer covers, uh, I bought a couple of her pearlescents before, and they're very pretty. Oh, that's really nice. It's hard to see, yeah, it's hard to see, but, wow, oh, that's that so is cool. really nice. Pretty. The size, the size is nice. Shiny nice. paper. It's kind of like, is that the one that's kind of like, like watercolorish textured paper? Kind of. It's like, it's kind of glittery almost. I, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking it's about really making pretty. a print. Not, not really glittery, but yeah, it kind of shines in the, like the lighter how parts. Many, how many of those you had ordered? Um, There's no minimum. No minimum? Yeah. But, but pr price changes depending on the size, right? Uh, I mean, number usually, it may be okay. But you send me, I think you have, I don't think you send me your address, K pop. I have no idea, <laughs> I'll send it to you in a, in a minute. Yeah. I don't think K pop lives anywhere. She's I homeless. live in my, I live in this little bubble right here on the insert weeds. I don't, I don't leave. 
So do we uh, do we exhaust the grill topic or? I have grill. Ooh. Yeah, did you see all the the grill That's pictures? Super glowy. I saw I saw some of them. Yeah. How how was it? Did he? Uh, He's had, really oh, nice. Did you did you get, did you get to meet Peach? Yes. Yeah. Yes. You missed that. that? Uh, <laughs> show show him. Did you see the uh, show him the uh, those pictures? Yeah. Well, hold on. Hold on. Uh, did you speak you to her in Japanese? No. I bet when I met her, I met um Art Germ too. Who's like Ooh. Oh wow. Her. That's awesome. Nice. Uh, see, Otaku has an obsession with Peach. <laughs> yes. Well, have you met her before? Ryan you... and Peach. No, I've I've yet to met meet her, but I am meeting her in September when I go to Rose City. Oh, cool. And I'm gonna stalk her basically. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here. Uh, where did I put it? I have so much stuff here. I'm waiting for the uh, the clickbait title of Peach Momoko's husband knocked me out for stalking her. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I heard it. They put me on real quick. Huh? Oh, that's oh, you got something. Oh, what's that? Business card. Ooh. Oh, Actually, sweet. That is cool. It's cool. Oh. <laughs> that is sick. I gotta. Pick, I just gotta grab that whole stack of cards when I go. <laughs> <laughs> you stalking me and taking all my cards? <laughs> sell those. Sell those online. <laughs> Ah, that's just so pretty. Isn't it? Was she just like like signing and drawing the entire time? Yeah, I guess so. Wow. It's a nice right. setup they got over there. Yeah, that. Imagine respecting yeah. creators. <laughs> I mean, they, they got really nice setup. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That is There's top notch. Yeah. yeah, she's there. That's her, her man. Well, her man. <laughs> Alberto to the left. I guess it's her man, or is it the translator? I don't know. <laughs> uh, her husband is her translator usually. <laughs> husband. Oh yeah. Husband. Look at uh, they got their name tag on the you know Benitez. Who else is in there? Ooh, okay. Oh, yeah, it's weird. Here. It's weird to have a Comic Con in a place like Lake Como, right? It's like the it's like this luxurious sort of yeah, resort they, spot. They, they, really it, was it strictly just artists? Yeah, it was the artists only. No yeah, yeah, that's amazing. Wow. Well, I mean, the, this table right here, they were selling books, but I mean, that was like one of the only ones, I think. Okay. I think they were mostly like artist books and stuff too. Wow. That's no awesome. writers? Writer? I don't think so. Well, well, Mike Grell, I guess you can say. Yeah, Mike Grell's writer artist. It, well, writer artists don't really count for exclusion, you know. Yeah, I think uh, you're you're talking about like someone like Marv Wolfman. Right? Marv Wolfman, yeah, just the writer. I, I thought this was really funny. What's his name again? Beasley. Beasley. Simon Beasley. Yeah. Simon Beasley. He's the biz. Cool. Old real estate of the tablecloth. <laughs> yeah, actually, I think, I think there's a video of him drawing that oh, somewhere yeah. on Instagram too. I'll have to look that up. I like that. So, what do they do with these yeah. tablecloths? Do you know, do they display them? I don't know what they're. They probably should auction it off. Yeah, maybe. He probably recycle. Maybe. He probably uses it because he, you know, goes to cons all the time. It's probably part of his setup. No, I That's think it's for the like Como people. Oh, like an auction? 
yeah. either at Peace. auction or like they use it to display for like in their because this looks like more like a museum exactly. type thing. Uh, that's why. And if he drew in and he said he he, he didn't have up, he didn't do it. But oh, uh, oh, so this is like a for all the people to sign in. Yeah, the, yeah. You know, oh, I see. That is cool that he did such a that's big. Neat. That's a Joe Benitez uh, Joker and then Art Adams thing. Uh, a Benitez is so cool. Wow. I like his style. What is Pichi Momoko at? Wow, Art Adams was there too? I don't know. Yeah, There's Art another Adams. one in the back. Sweet. Do you see that one? Yeah, yeah, there's another one in the back here. I think some of those are the European artists. Okay. Manara. Was there like uh, Jeff Darrow there? Uh... I want to say yeah. Wait, or maybe not. It's a more of a comic art festival, not exactly a comic con. Yeah, you got it right. With That's Boston. cool. Yeah. Are there any of those like that in the states, or is it just comic cons? I don't know if uh, there's anything like that in the states. I don't know. I don't know I would, if, I, if there was. I, I would love to respect, go to that. Respect the art artist this much. Yeah. yeah so my, I, I'm curious. What, what the attendees? What? Who are they? Were they just like? Like art, art collectors mostly. Like, yeah, maybe. Okay. Fan, yeah, art fans. And... Uh, What's funny like, that um... K-pop notice. Let me show you something. K-pop notice. That's Where beautiful. Yep. What happened to that? <laughs> Each know. table had like a sit down, oh, sit down chair. You didn't oh, do that. Yeah, the chair. Anakin pose. <laughs> Hi, Boggs. Hey, Bob. Can we get another look at the very unamused picture of right? Ryan? The chair right there, right in front. All these chairs right in front of the artist. You yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Have a personal chat with your artist. That's cool. That is neat. I don't think I've ever seen that anywhere at a con. I <laughs> know. And then the next. The next uh, area was the uh, food, snacks. <laughs> they give us like snacks, yeah. <laughs> like fancy Italian snacks. <laughs> uh no, I mean like water and like chips and like Gardettos. <laughs> Apparently, they only had purified water, which is criminal. <laughs> yeah, some people like. Well, that. they had they had like seltzer water too. Oh, okay. Usually have like seltzer water and well, I don't know if it's purified or not. Awesome, sure. It's just like oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> it was earlier today, huh? I was oh, on yeah. a lot of streams earlier today. That's why I was napping. <laughs> That's why she had a bunch of hair again. <laughs> yeah. Wait, did, we, did I show this to Otaku? No. Oh no, yeah, that? show that. Where is it? That's really you know DK. Ruan, DK Ruan. No, no. Before, he was one of the artists that I kind of liked. Uh, okay. Nice. He's Chinese, but he, I talked to him a little bit. He, he lives in Italy. But I, I went to the table and I saw this, and it looks like the original, but. Yeah, that's from the. Um, was he the artist on the Miles Run? Probably the cover. I think. Oh, okay. Most the um, that is sweet, but like, like this isn't doesn't do it justice because it looks, it's printed on like, like a rag, uh, watercolor type of paper, so oh. it almost looks like, but like the paper? black, like is so it like, black. Wow, is it matted paper? That's like uh, it's textured. Wow, yeah. So wait, you you bought the piece? Well, it's, it's a print. So oh, it's, it's a only print. like okay. It's only like twenty euro, which is gotcha. I thought you would, you'd gotten the original piece. Oh. I was like, wow. <laughs> I would. What if I accidentally got it? Like, <laughs> <laughs> All the stuff you had the original. <laughs> oh, <laughs> crap! I gave him the original. <laughs> <laughs> that is so. That's why nice. I like so good. That's super cool. I actually saw some original pages from Cerebus, and the thought ran through my mind of just grabbing them and running. Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> 
you could tell it's original or not, but it, this white stuff should be have a texture on these. Uh -huh. Yeah, if should you like touch yellow, it and run your finger over it, you would be able to feel the splatter and all the Yeah, the you should white. be able to feel the splatter over these things. Like yeah. No. Yeah. No, but I mean, like <laughs> this piece as a black and white is just in remarkable. It's just yeah. so remarkable. It has so many different tones in it. It's lovely. Yeah. I look at the sky. Love the sky and the building just going up. Into I gotta look. Sky. I got. I, I. I wrote it in the private chat <laughs> so I can remember to go back and <laughs> find the guy. Yeah. I remember this I cover. Ruined. Actually, they they like colored it, and it, again, it doesn't pop as as much as the black and white yep, yeah i found him yeah but it really kind of inspired me to to get get one of these watercolor whoa just, he yeah. does cool pieces wow right he's chinese mm -hmm. italian chinese wow. else he's italian chinese. he just lives in italy i was gonna say I think he's, As an yeah, Irish person, I hate Italians. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right. Why are you Italian? <laughs> I'm half Italian. Italian. It's, it's a joke. Please don't hurt me. Yeah. Do you ever do like portfolio reviews at cons? Me? Uh, yeah. Yeah, sometimes. Well, you wanna you want Ryan to review your drawing right now? Uh, not right now. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, show show us what you got so far. I haven't been working on it because my oh, yeah. phone was dying. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it's just the same kappa right. that was there an hour ago. So Ryan, this was your first time meeting Peach, right? Yeah. Thoughts? Just, uh... I didn't even know what she looked like. I, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen an actual picture of her. Yeah, it's like, I've I seen... Even in the she, cartoon... She's really piece. small. I mean, she's like... like yeah. I want to say she's like 5-something, right? 5-1, maybe? Yeah, I think she was short. <laughs> um, yeah, she was nice. Um... I mean, was she as tall as your wife, Ryan? Just looking at the pictures. Huh? Was she as tall as your wife? As tall as my wife? Probably. I think yeah, she was. Just, just, because I, cause I saw your wife here with you on the picture. Yeah. I think she was. Okay. I mean, just observation. You, you were watching her, like, do her art stuff and engage oh, with no, actually, like, people. I just met her. At, so on Friday, that was the first day, and it started at night, and it was just a reception, and it was in a, a different building. It's all on, like, the same ground, mm -hmm. but, like, um, it was in a different building. So the reception was in a fancier building, and that's, that's where the, that down shot was. Mm -hmm. and that's where we, like, had snacks and food and stuff. Mm -hmm. and, it was just the artist. We got to kind of talk to each other. And then the next day was the convention, which was like further in. And that's where right. the like, last uh, convention was. Yeah. So I that, mean, like both of you, you know, were the only probably Japanese artists there, right? Of the Japanese heritage? I think so. And did you kind of bond yeah. over that? Uh, well, I just. Told her that I was um, Yonsei, which is fourth fourth generation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, we didn't talk like that much. <laughs> so I was kind of talking to because it was kind of like art germ was over here, and then I feel like you talked to mostly with the mic grill. <laughs> yeah, that, that was a little later. Yeah. Yeah, but, I mean, part of it was like me eating too, <laughs> but you know, just kind of like introducing. Our, each other, you know. Uh -huh. Oh, that's cool. And then, and then that one picture of her was the next day, or either Saturday or Sunday, when I walked around and I went to her booth. And I just, I don't think, I don't think she even knew I was there because I just. Took <laughs> <a picture. laughs> that's awesome. Well, 
I think I'm going to go ahead and close up, guys. Um, anybody want to announce something on their channel or their projects? Ryan could do the last. No, Ryan's, uh, Ryan's going to be at San Diego Comic Con. So yeah, for those of you guys, uh, and this should be going a to con, yeah, because... going to the con, <laughs> be sure to stop by, say hi to him, and uh, support what he's yeah, doing. Yeah, definitely. So. There he is. Yeah. Joy, what are you doing now again? His Psylocke print, he was doing that. Yeah. San Diego yeah. Comic Con's in, in a couple weeks, right? Oh, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, how far away is it? It's in July. July, okay. Yeah. Yikes. Okay, so. Uh, like he's gonna, he's gonna really get to work. <laughs> we gotta, <laughs> no we more some time. <laughs> <laughs> no more slack it, Mr. Still running on vacation time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like he, well, I'm not gonna send it. I gotta get it done. Just disconnects. <laughs> all right, all right. Anybody yeah. else? I have an announcement. Remember when I was talking oh. about that anthology I was in? Uh, anthology? Yeah, I had to quit. Why? They were allowing AI art, and I would rather die. Who's that out of here? Stuff. Is that somebody we know? Uh, no. Okay. All right. But uh, fuck AI. AI artist? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, oh, that's a uh, that's, that's uh, long uh, discussion. AI art. My, my bad on the picture. I thought I changed my thing. Okay. Uh, you're fine. <laughs> Cisco, uh, Cisco, trying about you. Uh, I mean, always check out Dangerous Waters comics. Um. Geo's got uh, the Obsidian Chronicles coming out. You can check out the Ashcan. We've got a Kickstarter going, or it's about to go in, oh, I should really know that, uh, August or September. Okay. I'm not sure. I'll have to double check that. Nice. That's exciting. I mean, it's fun. It's so nice to see how we started that site, and it's, um, you know, doing pretty well. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's been a fun project to work on. I think uh, I think I've been working with him for like a year and a half now. Yeah, he's and, good. And uh, yeah, he's uh, you know, I wish there were more humans like him on this planet. Yeah, so. he's also getting back into art as well. Yeah, that's what uh, his focus has mostly been on for the last little bit. So cool. Uh, yeah. All right, How about your K-pop, you've been doing uh, a lot of our people okay. interview. Yeah, yeah I kind of uh, networked like a mofo <laughs> at Comic Con, so I have a whole full book June uh, schedule Sweet. happening. I'm actually booking out until September. Mm. Uh, so my guest this Friday is a horror artist. He's local, um, and uh, he has a kind of like a comic zine that's got a. Uh, movie reviews and horror clips and they talk about art and stuff so that'll mm. be exciting so that's this friday come check us out yep cool. looking forward to that yeah, yeah. well Young, you have anything special <laughs> uh larry hama's coming to summer con so Ooh. i am going nice. and uh, so i'll meet him and hopefully get some books signed and awesome. just you know basically uh, I I mean it's like meeting my it's like meeting Jim Lee it's like the next best thing to meeting Jim Lee right it's like he is he has such a huge influence on my my childhood so it it's just gonna be awesome to finally meet him and and talk uh, talk comics with him so looking forward to that. I mean this in the most respectful way possible, but I, I kind of view Hama above Lee, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, definitely. I, I, I don't, you know, in terms of their impact on comic books, you know, they're both 
really up there. So I don't yeah. I, I, personally, Jim Lee is my favorite, but I, I mean, that's taking nothing away from uh, what Larry Amas accomplished. We, so. we understand our bias. I mean, we yeah. understand. Yeah. <laughs> we understand. yeah. I mean, I think he's both... such an integral part of pretty much all of our childhoods. Right. Right. Mm. He is. Yeah. Yeah. Bef before I collected like Uncanny X Men, I was I was collecting like GI Joe. I was yeah, uh, GI exactly. Joe figures and the comic too. <laughs> like, right. The the co and the thing is like the comics are what drove the toy sales. I feel like like everybody who's collecting the toys were reading the comics as well. And I'm telling you, like that that story between Snake Eyes and, and Storm Shadow in the silent issue, and then the origin that dropped like a couple months later is was like poof, it, it it was such such a mind blowing thing as a kid to to wait for and and then have happen, and then you have the figures right there, right, and you're just like, well, no way. <laughs> so <laughs> that was just like you know, I'm sure he gets that kind of those co kinds of comments all the time, but I'm just gonna gush about how uh, how much he means to me so hopefully he, he's cool uh, we're, and we have a Greg the Rook on 30th Greg the Rook on the 30th yes be the sort of the final interview for our Asia American Pacific Islander Heritage Month it's been a fun month I, I, I've got to say like uh, we've had a lot of nice guests on and you know, just catching up with Mr. LaRoque is going to kind of be the... I'll cap of the... Yeah, cap, cap the, the month. And yeah. We do have a, an interview coming up with Dustin Wen. That's in June. That's in June. So right. it's going to be kind of an extension of that because he okay. didn't have much time in May. But look out for that. That's going to be... And I'm, I'm meeting him again in um, Rose City Comic Con. So we'll, we'll talk. I just saw him today at the... There was a oh you you weren't here but I today was um there was a local comic con and it was just like a handful of our it was like real small but like Dustin was there and then um Sal Regla was a inker at Wildstorm yeah I finally met him because uh always always like tried to get him to ink me and he he inked me a few times but I never met him like back then <laughs> so it was it was always like you know. Yeah. They just send the, the artwork out and then <laughs> he is another guy who's just like got so much talent and like, yeah it's incredible what he what he can just do you know like uh with his sketches but that you know i i'm really so i have i have some money i could literally um kind of spend all of it on one of his original like comic panels, like comic pages. Mm -hmm. He's selling it. I think I think he was selling it at Emerald City for like seventeen hundred dollars, and I was like, "Man, I would buy that for seventeen hundred dollars." It was like a page out of Batman, like that's a comic or something. Yeah, right. I was just like, "That's not that's ridiculously like affordable, right?" For is it? For a Batman page, yes. Original Batman art page, like yeah. original artwork. Yeah, seventeen hundred. Seventeen hundred. That's I was pretty like, decent, isn't it? I feel like like that's ridiculously underpriced. So I was like, if that's available at Rose City, it's like something I have to seriously consider. Like, we're gonna take somewhere around there uh, that mount with us. Obviously, I, I'm trying to get a commission from Peach Momoko. That takes precedence over everything. But Ooh. if if that if we have funds for that, I mean that that would be sweet. But Peach we'll Momoko's see. disturbing stalker, Otaku. <laughs> I'm gonna let her. So the commission, I'm gonna let her do whatever she wants. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna say, oh, yeah, I'm gonna be like you. You draw whatever you want, and I'll just, I'll just. Uh, appreciate it. So if she wants to go full on like psycho horror, that's fine. Fine by me. <laughs> Anyone in the mood to give me a commission like that? Come on, <laughs> <laughs> that's a dream. Sweet, sweet. All right. Uh, and uh, on thirty first, on thirty first, that's our last 
final day. Everybody is invited. Everybody. So uh, well, maybe what time I should start? At 10? Can I start at 10? Uh, what, what day is it again? 30th? Wednesday. 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 Um, let's I know for sure by nine I should be available. So let's let's schedule a nine. Maybe and if I can get on earlier, maybe eight by eight. Okay. Is that your time or my time? Uh, Pacific. Pacific. Nine PM, 9 PM Pacific. If we can anyway, we're gonna try to open up a channel to everybody. So like uh, Ryan, you could sh show up. I'm gonna ask Greg Loro to show up. Uh, I ask Alexis to show up. Even if you don't have to be Asian to show up. If you, you are interested in art and want to be in the panel, you, you know, just show up and meet each other. I just want to have a little artist meeting artists kind of thing going yeah. on. So I hope everybody, I mean, a lot of people show up on that one. So that's what's going to happen on 31st. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And I'll be giving some stuff away for the little more incentive <laughs> for the for the chat room. So yeah. Since I wouldn't get to see John Boy Meyer this year, I'll probably be giving away those books that I promised. Uh John Boy Meyer books. Mm. Uh, or anyway, so that's that's it. I, I appreciate everybody on the panel showing up and helping me, you know, avoid that awkward moments with Ryan. And uh, <laughs> my pleasure. Thanks. I guys. made more of them. Huh? <laughs> Thanks, Vic. I made. <laughs> and Vic, uh, you need to come do meet the artist with us one of these days. All right. When I actually get a book out, I can be considered an artist. All right. Good night, guys. All right. Bye. Thanks. Bye.